beloved Hello, one people of I hope God. you are doing Trust well you are doing well i want us to take a short reading we thank God from the book of psalms chapter 127 and it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house god's mercy doesn't protect the support. city. All the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really essential. This beauty works so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear chapter hardly enough. Verse God can provide our commanded the morning to see that God can provide for his, and then for his devoted lovers to know even while this tells us of the great, now, this tells us of the great, great things that we enjoy as any time we come into God's presence. It tells our days. us of so the blessings what we, are about we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. If you want you're gonna like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps. There is only one reason you will be surprised out there why Satan is so interested in giving us fear. First and foremost, let me just back up a little and say this. I wrote this down and I want us to. Is, I, I wrote here that fear is given and like any other gift, it can be received or rejected. Is that true? The Bible says as many as received him. That means not everybody will receive him. But to those who receive him, there is an effect. He gave them power to become. So every time you receive a thing, together with that reception is power to become. God has not given us. That means if another personality, Satan being the chiefest of them, gives us the spirit of fear, we have a right to reject it. Our society is full of men and women who live perpetually in fear. Many of us seated looking at me now, inside, outside, those following online, we live in fear. Fear has stopped people from sleeping, Fear has stopped people from going to the hospital to find out what is wrong with them. Listen carefully. Fear has stopped people from taking giant strides to get out of poverty. Fear has stopped people from doing things that have never been done. It's a spirit. And this spirit, like every other demonic spirit, has an assignment. Are we together now? Yes. Just like faith is a spirit. It says we then having the same spirit of faith. There is a character to faith. When that spirit is upon you, the spirit of faith has an assignment. It empowers you to believe God. To engage the relevant forces as commanded by God. And compels God's integrity to speak on your behalf. Is that true? So also the spirit of fear. It can be received. It can be rejected. We fear so many things in our society. We fear success. Interestingly, we fear failure. We fear um, traveling from one place to the other. We fear bad news. We fear all kinds of things. There is a spirit. All of a sudden, you feel a little pain on your legs. And here comes the spirit of fear. Listen now. Let me show you how this spirit works. The spirit of fear will come and say, huh, your legs remember the documentary you saw where someone's legs started rotting you see how the spirit of fear takes advantage of your imagination are we together now like the ladies who were sharing their testimony here the spirit of fear some of you are here seated right now probably overflow maybe one two three or online and the devil is planting fear you are too far the anointing will not touch you and you say ah that's true you are seated here now wondering will i receive this is the last miracle service what if god does not visit me manifestations of the spirit of fear there are people who will never make progress in their lives because of fear there are people who will not travel because of fear why does satan use fear i want to tell you now satan first and foremost gives fear to gain access to your imagination and expectation listen carefully the primary purpose of fear 
is satan's way of finding a system where he can reach your imagination and to alter your expectation mm. fear is creative in its operation there's nobody who is afraid without engaging the power of creativity fear will always give you pictures fear will act dramas in your mind if you don't have a mind fear will be powerless in your life the purpose of fear is that it starts from the realm of the spirit but then it it seeks to find expression in your mind to uh, to get to your faculties of creativity and to begin to alter your imaginations listen carefully and to alter your expectations because satan knows that it is a law that the thing you hold in your mind truly will come to pass are you seeing the purpose of fear now so when you sit down and you want to enter a room and all of a sudden you are thinking what if i enter and somebody closes my eyes notice how powerful your image even if you are not not to insult you but even if you don't feel you are that smart all of a sudden you are an excellent movie maker you are imagining a hand touching your eyes and it's so real and you just say let me leave you see you acted satan acted a drama and stopped you correct yes this is how the devil has manipulated the destinies of people he may not come directly but he uses fear fear is a powerful spirit let me tell you this every other spirit is helpless until fear prevails i want you to believe this every other spirit joins a queue waiting and hoping most people will not admit that it is fear that is motivating their activities but it is it is yes it is when a student does malpractice what is responsible fear something in that student tells the student look if you go the way you are going for sure you are going to be in hot water and so he begins to fabricate strategies to manage the fear hmm. why do you hear a sound bam in your zinc and all of a sudden you are moving and you know sometimes we pray all kinds of prayers that we really think are are faith you know are faith filled prayers but they are simply spiritual ways of saying i am afraid like blood of jesus like holy ghost fire there is holy ghost fire that is real holy ghost fire there is holy ghost fire that what you are saying in the realm of the spirit is lord i'm confused what is really going on here that you mention holy ghost does not mean that is are you saying that now fear <clears throat> I know this very well because I lived in it. Mm. Yes, I lived in it. Fear is dangerous. It short circuits your potential. There are people who would do greater than they are doing now if only they had the grace and the understanding to overcome fear. How does fear work? Let me show you something. Job chapter 3 verse 25. This was Job's own testimony. 3 verse 25, then I'll quickly teach you how fear works. Is God helping us? So we've established that fear is a spirit. Job chapter 3 and verse 25. We've established the fact that fear is a spirit. Someone help our children. They're really enjoying themselves around. And, uh... Hallelujah. Job chapter 3 and verse 25. Read with me. One to read. For the thing which I greatly feared. Stop. For what? There was an object otherwise fear was not there the thing which i greatly feared did what uh-huh and that which i was afraid of so paul i mean um, job gives fear a magnetic property that when you begin to fear it has an effect it can attract to your life the very thing you are afraid of We fear failure. That's why we fail. Fear is expectation. It takes advantage of your imagination. You will think you are rejecting it. But you think upon it, it controls your life. What if they now say, I have cancer? 
This one that I watched, I watched a movie that says eating cabbage is wrong. How many of these things have I eaten? I've gone to the farm eating one whole cabbage by myself. Maybe I have cancer. And then you just think. And all of a sudden, pain manifests from nowhere. Pain that should not be there. And you just touch and, ah, what is this boil about? And they will say, are you joking? You better go and read it up. You go to Google. Symptoms of cancer enter and you find out many other people like you around the world that fear is prevailing over and they say it can start sometimes it can look like a boy and they will say that's it let me tell you listen 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 while you laugh pay attention you will be surprised a spirit will enter that boil and turn something that you would have squeezed with your hand to a real cancer that thing had no power to become cancerous your partnership with fear active it added a spirit to that thing remember james taught us chapter 2 26 that a body without a spirit is dead that thing was just a body but a spirit entered it and the growth became unusual and all of a sudden i will tell you oh, this is it and you say you see i knew it yeah i've been telling you you are right you have been saying it because whatever you say think upon is what will become your reality the spirit of fear see when you understand what fear is you begin to understand the keys of the kingdom like praise and the things that they do to you is much more than dancing satan attempts to give us fear by causing us to walk in the realm of the flesh the senses satan's domain of operation is the flesh senses now the senses are not wrong they are the physical faculties god has given to find expression but satan will take advantage the bible says to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace to be carnally minded to be ruled by your senses when things work physically you are happy when things don't work well you are angry correct when there is money in your pocket you are joyful you are carnal the bible says you are walking in the flesh you are governed by your sensory perceptions and not by the word of god our society is full of people you can almost know when someone has not collected a salary one day past salary time everything about that now i'm not i'm not saying that people should not receive salaries but you can always know even if the person has one million in his account he has been taught to respond to the senses so you will know what is wrong what do you mean what is wrong what is today's date and you, you see all of that are we together hmm. we have been taught we have carried our hearts and put them on our faces people can almost predict with no kind of psychological aid you are not feeling happy what's wrong say what do you mean what's wrong yeah? the restaurant is closed you know what is wrong this and that has happened and we justify these things to mean that we have a right to express ourselves we do not know that we walk in the flesh at our detriment satan is the master of the flesh realm when you dwell in the realm of the senses where he can manipulate you using sensory perceptions he will win over you a thousand times are we together the realm of true victory for a spiritual man is being spiritual so every time people see that's why the bible says rejoice in the lord how many times and again i repeat rejoice rejoice so you see someone happy all the time and you're wondering ah, ah. now wow this 2017 is really wonderful for you and then the person tells you a story that you'll be surprised do you know that this year they stole my car they stole my house they stole my land and you say this is like your happiest year say i found a revelation that if i reduce myself to the realm of the senses i authorize darkness to prevail over me am i not human should i not cry what is all this nonsense joshua sell my mind yourself you see is this kind of societal talk we think it's a very nice talk it attracts empathy with together with that empathy fear joins them and comes to wreck your life say i refuse to walk by my senses say it again i refuse to walk by my senses i walk by the word of god 
See, you don't, you don't respond just when physical things change. You respond based on the word of God. This is what makes a man spiritual. It's not just praying in tongues and lifting wheelchairs. It's the ability to have worked with the Holy Spirit to so discipline your faculties of expression that the effect of the physical realm on your spiritual life is, almost, is minimal. Are we together? Yes. When Satan would want Jesus to talk, he would keep quiet. Legitimate reason to talk and he would keep quiet. On the cross, you think he would be angry. And there he looks and says, look, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. That's a spiritual man. Fear thrives upon our carnality, our ability to consistently dwell in the realm of the flesh. We become victims of the physical environment. And I told you this, there are too many things, brothers and sisters, in within one hour in the world we live in today, there are too many things that will manipulate you to a point where you no longer trust God. Are we together? Just put on the news, whether it's the internet, radio, whatever, and you are hearing a sad story. Are we together? Call your loved ones and they tell you, hey, it has happened. Say, what has happened? Just, they just caught the call. Say, call me back first. And you're wondering, what, what is happening now? Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters. Responding carnally empowers Satan. I'm, I'm teaching you this. You must get this. Responding to life sensually gives Satan an edge over your life. I will sing... I will praise even in my darkest hour through the sorrow and the pain I will see and I will praise I lift my hands to honor you because your word is true I will see that's, that's a spiritual man. That's a spiritual man. Don't make fear make you an object of pity. Everybody looks at you and says, ah, ah. Oh, you are the orphan they talk about. You say, yes, so my father is late. My mother is late. I sympathize with you. But brothers and sisters, there is a way to victory in life. Kabbalah Kotaya. The Bible says, listen, it says, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even your faith. Brothers and sisters, there is a way we can exempt ourselves in life. But the starting point is to conquer fear. It's to conquer fear. Men of God will make you afraid. They will attempt to impart their limitations upon you and make it look as if that's how God operates. I reject fear in my life. I reject fear in my life. I have no business with fear. The spirit of faith is at work in me. Oh, 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 oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Oh, 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 oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. One more time. Oh, 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 oh. Listen, Job, Job was a man who there is no human being who will go through what Job went through and not be afraid. In one day, everything, your estate disappears. In one day, seven of your children disappear. In one day, your fortune, everything. And Job sat down as if that were not enough. Boils began to grow. Dogs would come and lick Job. Job was an object of pity. And while he sat down there, the wife looked at him one day and said, Job, is there hope for you? I'm your wife. I said, I do. 
but now i'm job i still do but you, there's there's nothing you are it's, it's over and job looked and said though he slay me though he slay me shaparakotaya i searched for an explanation but since i did not find though he slay me yet will i trust him i imagine when job had double i wonder what his mocker said because i believe they were still alive let me tell you something i tell you before december ends some of you some people will see you and bend their head because the, the stories they have said listen the things that they have said around you listen hold on and they were right except god intervenes what they have said is so predictable ah but the god who can turn around turn things listen in my little life i don't boast to know god too well but i've seen the bible say oh taste and see brothers and sisters in my little life i have seen this god who can arise right god god my brother when god arises for even you the recipient will sit down and say what is this the bible says when the lord again turn our captivity I have seen families that this year january they were beggars but today give them one million you have insulted them january this year i've seen it i'm not talking of job this is what god can do i've seen people who based on their medical report they should not even reach june they may not share it with others by the privilege of the ministry god has given me i get to talk to people they don't hide anything from me there are times i've seen medical reports that have challenged me myself and i said my god and they come with confidence and say sir i know listen if you don't come here as a man of god you won't go far because i told you god talks to men like he's talking to himself he will never tell you what you can do he will tell you what he can do is god speaking to someone tonight fear is a spirit yes i know there are nine of you in your family you have watched everybody become a failure as soon as you graduate the devil turns your certificate like tissue paper and then god has been showing you in the dreams like joseph that you will be the savior and you say oh god just let my marriage just work that's all i'm asking and god is saying no don't be like gideon don't be like gideon when he appeared to gideon gideon said no 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 no, don't talk about me i'm the least in my family coming from the least tribe and god says that's why i'm here the spirit of fear has destroyed businesses the spirit of, let me tell you how the spirit of fear works he uses something that is real in your life as the basis for stopping you to rise high are we together so god says come darling god says i'm going to make you a great lady and then satan reminds you where was god when you were failing yesterday you see how fear works and you first you say no 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 abba god is faithful but later when you sit down he said truly god where were you all because i remember fasting 21 days it was after the 21 days fasting that i failed god where were you that now that i'm not even fasting you are the interesting thing about god eh? let me tell you after a challenging season in your life when god comes he doesn't discuss it he just continues from where he stopped hi this god god told you you'll be in ministry for five years you have only two members when god comes he says all right bring the notebook i spoke to you about three years let's continue i said god i want to let you know that two of my members are leaving you will never hear him answer you he just says let's continue because you see in god's world whether past present delay they mean nonsense to him a thousand years is one day so if he says i am blessing you today even if it's five years it still is today the day his word comes it will make up for it satan uses something obvious obvious 
remember the other time you claimed that you you don't have any sickness now you went to the hospital were you blind when the doctors were telling now i'm not against doctors i love them so much were you blind when the doctors told you that you don't have a womb and you are trying to trust god in the name of jesus and all of a sudden they bring out the medical report and you see something that was written there that while you were growing up developing as a lady something happened and altered your womb and there is no possibility for you to even take in and satan says i rest my case let me tell you what a man of faith will do i know god who is mighty mighty the raw material for creating his re any reality is his word it says through faith we understand we understand that the walls were framed the physical structure was framed by the word of god listen don't think i don't know what i'm saying brothers and sisters we must conquer the spirit of fear if this is all that happens to you tonight even if we round up now it has been a successful service you will go back and wonder i want you to, to just sit down please sit down and think in one minute what fear has done in your life there are many of us god told you this is your destiny helper go and meet him you were almost there have you seen people like that they knocked the office as soon as the man opened god said speak how many brothers that would have entered a very godly relationship but fear stopped them you are almost there and the lady comes and you just pass. say no i was picking something on the ground and you go back and say oh god after fasting and praying fear how many businesses should have started and risen but fear keeps them down so many people who would have risen but fear satan manifests fear through different things including men of god including our loved ones they say look uh, my dear i know you are a lady thank god for your ambition i know that that young man has been indoctrinating you people but let me tell you this is how life works eh? go on, better go and greet that man when you greet him you know a and b and c and d and then they confuse you and look how many graduates finish from powerful places like zaria and other places one year after they get out of this place when you see them all the dreams some of you are ashamed to open the notebooks that you had four five years ago because you don't believe anything you wrote here again gone are the days where you would write anything some of you now your prayer request you have 10 prayer requests but the one on your card is only two because say god let me not disgrace myself again if you do this two for me i'm grateful please pick up your card and write more lord my hair is falling it must stop ah is that god's business god is too busy who told you write it are we together the spirit of fear the spirit of fear life can intimidate us in such a way you you need to see how people laugh at spiritual people when you step out of the church cycle you know last week i was i was i was somewhere and then um i was having a discussion with with a, a gentleman and the sarcasm that he had for spiritual things it was like all these church people and he will mimic pastors and laugh and i felt irritated i was just waiting to finish with him he's somebody that i came to just to honor and i said let me get out of this place this guy has a, a this all these politicians very lousy sarcasm for you're a politician here i love you but i mean very funny funny attitude towards pastors they make it look like we are joking and some of you that's exactly how you are after you finish jumping here when you step out you now become ashamed of everything you did that's why bloggers write all kinds of things and say men of god turn people to children how can you just be talking like a parrot and a man of god says pray and you are praying and talking like a parrot and we live and fear the fear to sustain your convictions your phone rings in a restaurant jesus is lord and you quickly off it because you don't want to raise any dust here and they say you pastor is you abby and then they start telling you stories about pastors stories about all kinds of people oh you are the sister i was saying you will not marry continue all this sister thing you are doing and when they say it you just sit down feeling guilty for loving and following god shout no way 
Go and read your Bible and see the destiny of those who mocked God. From Pharaoh to Nebuchadnezzar to Herod to Jezebel, all of their destinies were a straight line, predictable. Mark the wicked, the Bible says. Are we together? God has not given us the spirit of fear. Romans chapter 4 from verse 18 to 21. What is the cure for fear? Let's examine the father of faith, Abraham. Romans chapter 4 from verse 18 to 21. Please give it to us, media. The Bible speaking about Abraham. This was a man who was trusting God, had received the promise that his seed you know, talking about Isaac and then Christ prophetically. It says, who against hope? Now, watch the character of faith. I've shared with you, you can get the teaching, the series we've done on faith, that the starting point of faith is always the presence of a supposed impossibility. That's the starting point of your journey. There's no need to have faith over something that is already your experience. It says, who against hope did what? believed in hope that he might become the father of nations according to that which was spoken go ahead and being not weak in faith he considered not this is this is how i want to show you how fear works it begins to bring logic into your faith process put two and two you two use your head apostle is just prophesying and saying before the end of this year you will be a millionaire. You have the stupidity to say amen. You see that? You are considering. Not just considering. You are considering in a doubtful way. To believe that that breast lump will just disappear within a few minutes. To believe that God will turn around your life. Bring a helper to your destiny. And wipe your tears. He considered not. That's the first thing the spirit of fear does. It makes you to begin to consider. You say, okay, it's not like I don't believe, but come on. Is it not that class I graduated with? Abba, let's be real. You hear that? Let's be real. I read so, so, so. I graduated with that class. Abba, and you ask your roommate or anybody. And say, if, even if it's you, will you employ me? He say, I won't employ you. Let me just tell you the truth. I will say my mind. You see how people say it. And they think it's a very wise statement. Me, I will tell you my own church mind. I won't do this and, and that. And then you carry that certificate and look at it and say, God, is this how you are planned to disgrace me? And you drop it back and say, it's over. And God says, ah, ah, you took me out of this equation and you are just being frustrated like that? Consider not. Brothers and sisters, when God speaks to you, take your eyes away from the reasons why it will not come to pass and keep your eyes there let god apologize to you for failing you but on your own part remain there are we together he considered not his own body when he was an hundred years old neither the deadness of sarah's womb 20. number two he staggered not staggered not this is what the Bible calls, Apostle James calls it a double-minded person. Do you know what a double-minded person is? Inventing options as a result of fear. Inventing options. Lord, this is it. I am trusting you. This is what you are going to do. Lord, I'm trusting you. I'm taking this direction. And all of a sudden, because of fear, all of a sudden you start fabricating plan B, plan C, plan D, some of these things we do and we think they are proofs of wisdom. No, sir. If God tells you, I will make you a nation, brothers and sisters, even if you are inside a hut, believe him. No plan B. Men of faith are those who burn the bridges behind them. Like Esther, if I perish, I perish. This is how I walk with God. There's no possibility of plan B. If God tells me, son, this is how we are going, I say, Lord, let's go. If there is fire there, I remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I walk through that fire. That's what it takes to be a man of faith. Organizing a miracle service like this is suicidal. You must be a man of faith. You don't know the cases and the problems and the challenges that people have. What then gives you the audacity to call nations together 
and assure them that they will experience the power of God it takes faith are we together you start a business it takes faith who gave you a guarantee that they will like your products or your services and you have the audacity to commit funds commit structures commit leadership and then open up and say okay the whole world come and be blessed he staggered not some of you are already staggering lord i trust you but oh, staggered not but was strong in faith giving glory to god giving glory another word is giving praise giving praise full of praise 21 the last verse this was the third thing that he did and this is the third thing that fear does remember the first thing fear does is that you begin to consider brings logic into your spiritual process are we together number two is that it causes you to stagger and then number three it begins to dwindle your persuasion the bible says i'm being fully persuaded conviction but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded it was paul who said i am persuaded that neither life nor death nor this and that and that he i'm being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was also able now hold on very powerful scripture that what he promised he was also what that means you the, when satan begins to bring fear the first thing that suffers is your revelation of god's ability 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 he uses your senses to attack god's ability listen listen to me um let me use someone come sam now watch this sam if i say i'm going to give you let's say hundred thousand naira, the first thing you do is to look at me in your mind and in whatever parameter and you believe if i say i'm going to give you one million you will look if i say i'm going to give you 10 million if i say i'm going to give you 100 million that's how that conviction will start dwindling then if i say sam by next week you're going to carry a private jet the, your mind will just there will be no there's no provision in your mind to believe it. you are not even going to receive it are we together you will respectfully laugh but the truth is that you don't even believe him now you may not know but that you're laughing it looks like an it's like the kiss of judas a kiss is a good thing until somebody uses it as a strategy to chain you. Judas kissed Jesus and said, this is the guy. So you can laugh. The Bible says, Mary had do it good like medicine. But that laugh is not a laugh of faith. That laugh is a laugh of doubt because you think I won't do it. Like Sarah's laughter. Are we together now? And so when God says, Sam, I'm going to change your life. Fear comes. What does fear do? He says, look, if God said he was going to give you a new shoe, it makes sense. God can raise somebody in Koinonia. But God says he's giving you a house by December. Is, is, God, is God stupid? That's fear talking to you. And you sit and say, I believe a shoe, but I don't believe a house. Then you limit God like they did in the wilderness. And only a shoe comes to you. And comes to validate the limitation you placed on God. But that does not mean he could not give you a house. That does not mean he could not build a great destiny for you. Brothers and sisters, tonight as we trust God, we're going to do a very quick walk here. I want you to take away fear from your life. Fear of finances. Now that, you know, the whole recession is on, people fear. Do you know one of the major reasons why people are poor? I'm telling you this. It's not because they are lazy. It's because of the fear of it. They think about lack so much, they expect it, it comes to them. All wealthy people are courageous people. They believe. When God says, I'm going to bless you, you just sit and think and say, which of my uncles? Uncle James, poor. Uh, Uncle Silvanus, poor. The other, my father's younger brother, poor. Oh God, how are you going to now help me? You see that? My elder brother that was working in January, they now sacked him. God, I will... 100,000 come and God looks at you and says with all you have been learning in koinonia this is how much you believe me but there are people who say Lord 
whether I believe you or not, there's no option. So now I'm, I'm, I trust you. Do anything you can do. And all of a, a sudden, strangers will come and feed your flock. And say, I don't know you, sister. But while Koinonia was going on, you even, you just look at it and say, no, 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 don't be afraid. God just told me, please come and see me in my office tomorrow. And he said, what is this? He said, God gave me an instruction. Gone are the days where people get testimonies and say, God told somebody to do this. You know, there used to be times like that where god is now you don't hear those things because we don't believe it we have brought carnality to our lives you don't ever believe god directs men we believe satan sends men but we don't believe god directs men i want you to live in that reality where you believe reject fear my sister my brother hear me reject fear satan prevails over your life with fear brothers and sisters especially our gentlemen fear of establishment when will I get more? How much is one bag of Nango cement? And you start calculating, you are considering. That's fear. Does, you are not planning. That one is not planning. Planning is correct. You are putting a plan to dance around it and rejoice. But fear. Now say, use your brain. How much is one, one plot of land? You see that? You now put it. How much is two plots? How much is a good car? How much is dowry? How much is, is uh, uh, furniture? When you calculate everything you say according to my modest calculation is nine million and you laugh you just throw it away and say look let me just thank god you think that was an act of faith a man of faith says lord i do not know how the wind will come i don't know how the rain will come but i learned from scripture that you received for me power Listen, let me teach you. There is a way you can frustrate Satan. You stagger not. Lord, I don't know how it will happen, but I know. Satan wants to bring something, another scripture just wells up. Ah. But is it not God that you trusted yesterday that you fell? Remember not the former things. That's why you must be full of the word to walk in faith. That every time Satan comes, it is written, shoots out of you like an arrow. It is written. It is written it is written ah, when you failed yesterday where was god and then he says for your shame i will give you double good reply for a spirit is it not you that everybody saw you and left you just looked at you and said you are a nobody and the bible says where men have deserted you so that no man passes through you i will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations with the limitation how are you going to go abroad are you not seeing if you ever if you go around the embassy they will so kick you out of that place and you sit down and remember joseph that he was in the prison and the bible says and the king not the king's aid the king himself sent for him kings can send for mean men and transform their lives hmm. when you are not full of the word when pressure pushes at you all that will come out is culture all that will come out is all of these things brothers and sisters god is going to do a quick work tonight is our last miracle service but i want you please and please i want you to join me believe this god he is believable he is reliable are you hearing what i'm saying god can change the stories of people please do not let anyone mock you oh we are in a strange season where god is changing people's lives overnight overnight this overnight dimension i know in my spirit that people are entering it overnight when you see someone who was already on his way to being successful it's not strange but somebody overnight is saul also one of the prophets what happened to him overnight saul i thought you were looking for your father's donkey and saul says i encountered samuel and an anointing came upon me and all of a sudden things started happening hallelujah god did something in my life today that almost brought tears out of my eyes i just sat down and i i almost fought tears and fought tears and i said god you are dependable you are truly dependable brothers and sisters i want to bring you to a realm where after you leave this you will never say one thing in church and say another you don't have to fight with people when people come with their sarcasm just keep quiet a settled reality if i die trusting him i die but god is able somebody say god is able say it again god is able all 
our problems as human beings can be classified into seven categories and only seven categories i won't go there because of time but the the challenges we are facing are not new is from health am i right to money to breakthrough to deliverance to all of these things which one of them does not have a representation in the word of god is it your rent is it the time of famine are we together is it the breakthrough is it the limitations brothers and sisters my god is able my god is able i don't know about your own god but my god is able i believe him and i'm not going to give room for the devil listen listen this scientific christianity we must we must rise beyond that realm of science and trust god tell me how the clouds stay without a pillar nobody has ever renovated the cloud to readjust it stays by itself god spoke to job tell me how you can give the rivers borders and say thus far have you come no further shall you go this is the god we serve if you doubt if god can look men look at my life look at my life brothers and sisters i came tonight to challenge you to believe this god you can sit down and continue arguing and laughing at those who are engaging their faith and turn and see that you are 40 years 45 and there is no result whatsoever because it never happens by magic blessed is she that believes both in the open and in the secret blessed is she that believes for unto her alone there shall be a performance this christianity that you trust god in the open and then in the secret you laugh you are sarcastic no no i believe him i believe him he has earned my trust i believe him i believe him i believe him tonight to heal the sick i believe him tonight to cast out devils I believe him brothers and sisters i know that you may have gone through several things some of us here there are dreams that have died you have buried it but i want you to rise up again and to tell yourself i will make it take it down for me let's sing one song before we disgrace the devil in this place what's that song um you don't have to worry you know the song and don't you be afraid joy comes in the morning troubles may not last away listen to the song carefully there's a friend in jesus who will wipe your tears away and if your heart is broken Shabalakataya Just lift your hands hey, oh, I know that I can make it I know that I can stand I know that I can stand No matter what comes no matter my way what May come my, my way. way My life is in my your hands with Jesus I can make it. With Jesus I With can Jesus make it. With Jesus I can make it. With Him I know I can stand. With Him I know I can stand. No matter where I may come my way, my life is in Your hands. Hallelujah. Listen, there is no giving up in this kingdom. Uh -uh. There is no. Did you hear what I said? there is no giving up in this kingdom i want you to go back to the archives of the things you have left and say lord i'm taking it back that dream that business i started it by january by march i was crying but at your word i'm going back again i'm going back you are faithful let them laugh at you you know hold on please i was studying um i think it was last week or so i was just studying a video on the great inventors the top was it 10 or 20 inventors in our world you know right from the time recorded history and i was reading through their lives one by one i only got to number five or six and i stopped and i told myself i said joshua selman don't you ever complain again i said my god 
why didn't they teach us the obstacles that this man had to cross why do we approach our lives as though something unusual happened go and read about their lives the history makers and see how they smash records when people told them you will not make it they said my life's goal is to prove to you and many of them were christians brothers and sisters the bible says that unto principalities and powers that it will be shown the manifold wisdom the manifold wisdom you don't look like it but that's why it's called his grace you don't look like it until his hand comes upon you and they say why you and you say go and ask him oh go and ask him go and ask him I'm motivating somebody and I'm speaking to you let me tell you something brothers and sisters God is dependable kill fear in your life when we start to pray I like you to pray with all your heart and as you pray I like you to trust God you may feel the pain of the sickness but as you pray you want it and say just a few minutes I will only be patient with you for a few more minutes and you are leaving my body and living forever you may not be sick in your body but you have myriads of issues that only God can step in financial issues health issues I like you to bring it before the God of your salvation and say God I know you are able oh. I don't know how you would do it witchcraft in your family demonic things and say Lord it will end I know it I know it no job no destiny no joy he said I'm, I'm before you I'm not before a herbalist I know my God is able open your mouth in one minute personally talk to him if you have to talk to him in your language go ahead <laughs> Those outside pray. Lord, I believe you once again. Hallelujah. I believe you once again. The God of my salvation. The God of Jeshuron. I believe you again for my family. I believe you again for my academics. I believe you again for my marriage. I believe you again for my children. I believe you for my finances. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. You are dependable. You are reliable. Talk to him. Tonight is a night where my dreams are coming alive again. That anointing, that ministry, that business, in the name of Jesus, in spite of the mockery, in spite of the shame, in spite of the mistakes, in spite of the setbacks, in spite of the failure, I arise like a giant. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet will I rise, yet will I rise. My God is still alive. I know his name. Jesus, the son of the living God. Pray. I came to him. The one who can change my life, change my ministry. You are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here wiping every tear. I worship you. I worship you. Way make miracle walk, promise me light in the darkness. That is who you are. Way make way make. Promise, give up. Promise, give up. Light in the darkness. Light in 
Listen, listen to me. Don't ask how it will happen. When I stepped in, I heard, I heard, I think it was Mary. I have followed the issue of her dad. When some of us here are related to police people and all of that, I'm just using her story for an illustration. When she told me about the miracle that happened, I said, God, I fear you. Because what was happening, they were supposed to shoot and kill her dad. That's the punishment for the supposed offense. But when he steps in, this is my God. God is not a man. No. God is not your neighbor. God is not a landlord. God is not a president. He's not a governor. God is not an ambassador. God all by himself. When he steps in, all of a sudden he begins to shift things. Listen. Brothers and sisters, hear me. I want you to believe God to shift things. This is, this is my assignment. Believe Him to push things in your life. In one minute, I'd like you to mention every challenge you came here with and say, Lord, I believe you. You will change it. Go ahead. Go ahead and pray. Lord, I believe you. You will change my financial situation. Lord, I believe you. You can send help us my way. Men are still on earth. Lord, I believe you. You can lift me. Lord, I believe you. You can give my life speed. If you came here for this service tonight, pray. Pray. I believe you. <laughs> Hello, him out of night. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Hello, him at night. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be. Hello, him at night. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be. Thy will be done. Hello, him at night. Thy kingdom come. hallelujah tonight is the last miracle service for the year please i don't want you to miss out on anything there is a very very strong anointing to bring performance performance listen 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 to me please now you see because of the nature of the miracle service some of you want I may not be able to call everybody one by one to speak to you the purpose of calling is just to give the holy spirit room to address as he brings but let me tell you this i've told you again and again calling people and talking and all of that is you can see how, how much time sometimes can be spent talking to one person the most important thing is that your faith is released to say lord turn my life around listen don't pray a cheap prayer tonight lord turn everything around 180 degrees turn it around turn it around turn it around let my life change it is within your power to make it happen
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. We are going to start tonight praying for the sick first. There is a very strong healing anointing in this place. And we are going to pray for the sick. Brothers and sisters, I want you to believe God that any demonic thing that has latched onto you, it must leave you. Sickness is not the will of God, not near it. Are we together? Sickness is not the will of God. And shortly I'm going to be asking sick people to come out in all of the overflows. I want us to focus on sick people and pray. All the other things we can do a quick work, but it takes a lot of time to minister to the sick. And we're going to do this very fast. But I want you to maintain an attitude of prayer. But before then, I want you to lift your hands. Please, I want to pray. Lift your hands, I want to pray. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. We are coming there, but I have to pray. I have to pray for breakthrough. Hallelujah. Just keep your hands. Don't say anything. Don't do anything. Hallelujah. Keep your hands, please. Let's just walk with the Spirit of God. Breakthrough. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Now, when, when you hear me say this, it's not just about those who fall under the anointing and shout. The falling under the anointing is just an evidence. It, it doesn't, it, it has totally nothing about, it's for you to receive. It doesn't mean that you see someone fall under the anointing and say, wow, this is the one God is touching. No, I'm teaching you how to receive. You receive by faith. It has nothing to do with falling or not falling. Are we together now? You receive by faith. What is breakthrough? The grace that smashes the limitations that stands before you so that you move forward. There is a grace that does that. I want to pray for you now. Jesus, I see fire. That's what I'm seeing. This is, this is, I'm, I don't know what kind of flame, what color this is now. But I'm seeing that grace inside and outside. Right now, I stretch my hands. It's coming on people right now. Receive it now. Don't worry. I stretch it. Just keep your hands lifted. Right now, it's coming on people. Overflow. One, two, three. Right up. Those online. It's a grace. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. That grace is coming on people. I'm telling you, I'm seeing doors. These are like doors. I, I've seen this many times. But these are like chains, chains. Doors opening. I'm stretching my hands to you right now. Let's just allow God to do what he's doing. Shabakata, the breakthrough grace, the breaker anointing, changing people's lives, changing people's lives, changing people's lives. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive it all over this building, all over the overflows, all over the overflows. Enough is enough. Enough is enough of those challenges. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. Don't worry. We're going to do a, a quick walk. God is bringing something. He's still bringing breakthrough. And the Lord is telling me to tell those people that this grace is coming upon. I'm hearing in my spirit, December 2nd. This is from now till that time. December 2nd. A strange walk. Strange walk of the spirit. Strange walk. The breakthrough grace. The breakthrough grace. The breakthrough grace. You don't have to bring them out. We are going to ask the sick to come. Just hold them. Breakthrough grace. I stretch my hands. Breakthrough grace. There are families that must enter this anointing now. Enough is enough, said the Spirit of God. There are families that must enter this anointing. I provoke that grace. Let it cross borders in the Spirit. And go to families. Families, Shabbat Hakata. Families, Lord, bring them into this grace. Families, the overflow three. I'm seeing God touch a lot of people there. This breakthrough anointing, overflow three. Overflow three. There is a strange move of the spirit happening there. God is touching people. This breakthrough anointing, many of us need breakthrough. We don't even know we need it. Impossibilities turning. Impossibilities turning. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. 
let's just allow that grace land and we'll pray for the sick breakthrough you will be surprised to see the testimonies that will rise from it breakthrough i stretch my hands again breakthrough that grace that grace that grace shabata skapara shubreskelea breakthrough that breakthrough grace I'm seeing a few people, I'm seeing fire rising from their feet. This is still breakthrough. This is still breakthrough. F fire rising like from a man's legs upward. Fire. At least 17 people I'm seeing scattered across. In the name of Jesus, let it rise. Lord, their destinies are the mercy of these encounters. Let's just participate and allow the Lord to do what he's doing. Parakota Segedekata Sholeasa Mabreketia is a river that fire burning every chaff is a year of triumph. It must happen to you. It must happen to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we are going to pray for the sick. I'm praying for the sick fast because the Lord is going to move in a very, very prophetic way in this place tonight. And I want us to pray for the sick very fast. Now watch this. Please, if you are sick in your body, you came here for a miracle. Overflow. And uh, Let's see. Those in overflow, one. Those under the anointing, just let them be. Those in overflow, one. You are going to come out here. Um, okay. Inside. I'm part of overflow too. The ones at the roadside, maybe half of it. You can join them and come here. If you are trusting God for a terminal disease. Now, a terminal disease is something that is somewhat a death sentence. Please, whether you are in overflow one, two, or three. I want to lay hands on you by myself. A terminal disease. A termi that means something that is a death sentence. You know, maybe uh, HIV AIDS or a cancer or something like that. And please don't just come let's not crowd this place there are ministers that are going to be ministering overflow one come um out at your projector stand inside here come out part of overflow two join them and then the remaining go to the front of your projector outside overflow three i want all of you to come up and we're going to pray very very fast it's going to be a very quick walk god bless you quickly please come now you're coming out come and line up here quickly quickly overflow one please come out quickly while they are doing that i like us to begin to pray and say father let every sickness represented here bow to the name of the lord jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray let every sickness bow to the name of the lord your people have come to you the healer as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus we believe Jesus listen I want you to believe God for miracles so that you can be perfectly whole to serve the Lord you must reject sickness from your life hallelujah praise the lord please pass away jimmy um let's see you go to overflow three you and promise overflow three i think there should be many more people if there are many more people there then we may add some other people um jimmy and promise will go to overflow three um pastor alpha you are overflow two um Benga and Kenny, you'll be at overflow one outside. Mike, you join. Um, 
whoever is you know going to overflow too i think that that would be okay those online release your faith go ahead guys in the name of jesus father we decree and declare let the corporate grace of the spirit flow in this place let there be signs and wonders through your holy son let there be miracles in the name of jesus let there be signs let there be wonders in jesus name i pray now please listen i don't want you to be distracted remain in that prayer mode as we pray for you i want you to check yourself i want you to do what you couldn't do even as you return to your seat and whilst they are praying god bless you guys go ahead no go fine praise the lord and as soon as we pray then we're going there will be massive deliverance and prophecy here i want us to be as fast as possible the worship team will set the atmosphere for us please everyone i want you to pray you may be seated where you are you are trusting god for the healing of a loved one let's trust the healing anointing and let's let's tap into what god is doing right now father we give you all the praise let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ Father, we thank you. Let there be miracles. Awesome one. I fix it off your power. 
turn things around. Turn things around. Your arms stretched out. Has lifted me, Lord. You took them away. The chains and cords that held me back. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Justina. Who is Justina? Justina. Justina. Time is gone. Justina. I'm hearing a name, Justina. We're going to enter a very strong session um, of deliverance and prophecy. We have to be very fast. I'm trying to conserve time. I'm hearing the name Justina. Justina. What's your name? Justina. You have this song that they just raised now. This song now, my beautifier. That's a song for you. That's what God is doing in your life. Stand up. You know how you make a woman up? Maybe when there's wedding or there's a program. I'm looking at plenty of ladies gathering around you. And they're doing all these things for your face. Hmm? This is... This is, are you married? God is opening the door of marriage for you. Hmm? In the name of Jesus Christ. Justina. Mama? Thank you, Mama. Justina. Pray for you. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I'm seeing something like oil being put on you. I stretch my hands towards you. And I decree and declare, let that anointing come upon your life. Change your story forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Madam, what's your name? Ma? Justina. Justina. Do you know why I'm saying that? I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing this woman. I'm seeing you holding a man. You are walking and later on I see you walking alone. Where's your husband? Dead, he's what? He's dead. Oh, he's dead, you mean? Yes, um, I want to pray for you. Don't be afraid. Because I'm seeing something that looks like the face of your husband calling you to come. That's not your husband. That's a demon spirit. I have to pray. The living and the dead don't have anything in common. Madam, I want to pray for you. Are we together now? Mm. So I'll lay my hands in the name of Jesus. I avert death from your life. In the name of Jesus. Everything bringing your husband's face to call you is not love. He's dead. He's gone. In the name of Jesus, I separate you. Mama. The Lord is going to... I, I've, I've known this madam and the case in their family, but there is a yoke of suffering. This is the first time God is showing me this. Wahala. Mm, and God is going to take it away Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. I know about her daughter's issue. I've been following up with the family. But I look at this woman and the Lord said there is a cause of hardship. Nothing that anybody does really, really works. It must turn later on. And there are many people like that. Well, soon I'm coming to you. That thing must leave you. I told you about this hardship. Hardship is one of the major reasons people don't smile. Hardship. It's more than poverty. Praise the Lord. My mind, the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord himself locate you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Your name is Justina? My mother and my younger sister. Where is she? Where is she? Okay, your mother and your younger sister. In the name of Jesus. 
the prayer I want to pray for you now. I can't remember which miracle service, but please just help my mashes under the anointing. Get a chair or something. Someone donate your chair. Let her sit down and calm down. God is doing something in our family. Just keep her somewhere, please. I've prayed it before, but the Lord is saying I should tell you again that your family is entering a season of reward. It's entering a season of reward. It's entering a season of reward. The Lord himself will make it happen. I'm hearing Affiniki, 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 Affiniki. Please make sure it's your name. What's your name? The Affiniki I'm talking about is here somewhere. Um, you're younger. I'll pray for you. Affiniki. This person is outside. Affiniki. The Lord is telling me there's somebody outside. Affiniki. If I could appear here as God, what I would tell you based on what I've seen is congratulations. God is going to do something in your life that will surprise you. How many prayer requests did you write? Six. Six. Go outside. Read number four very well. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you a Finiki? Father, in the name of Jesus, visit this family. In the mighty name of Jesus. This lady, this one, my sister, you, looking at me, come. Please, let's, let's save time. I don't want us to stay here too long. Is this your first time here? You've been coming here. I have to pray for you. Where are you from? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Kai, what I'm seeing is not good. Hmm? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing... You know the horn of a calf. That's what I'm seeing on you. And we have to pray. I'm not saying you're a demon. You get what I'm saying? This is your miracle service is where God sets us free. Hold my hands. Hold it. Hold it with both of your hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, please set this lady free. There are many things wrong, but the Lord is bringing order. In the name of Jesus Christ, I hold your hands now and I judge the horns of wickedness. The horns of wickedness if i don't pray for you your life is going to be full of suffering and strange disappointment from men in the name of jesus i command by the anointing of the holy ghost right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let there be deliverance for you now i lay my hands on your head and i decree and declare that everything you are carrying that is not of the christ i command it to leave you now and I pray that every legal access upon which the devil is attempting to destroy your life, I plead the blood on your behalf right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Agnes, 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 Agnes. There's someone with that name? Agnes. 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 Agnes I wish I had time God. Agnes You are Agnes You are what? Who is Agnes here? Who is Agnes? Your mother gave you Agnes Who is that? Your name is Agnes Your name is Agnes I'll pray for you but I'm seeing Agnes and the Lord your Agnes, your mother, are they sisters? Yeah, they are also. Who is this? It's their wife, but they are all sisters. Three of them are sisters. Who is this? She's their brother's wife. She, I'm looking at this, and the Lord is saying, Let's avert. I'm looking at this picture, it's empty, but I'm saying, Rest in peace. Huh? Lord Jesus, by your mercy, she lit. She's alive. I'm not a prophet of doom. I hope you understand. When I see this, is the Lord trying to avert something. I avert tears from your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you that the Lord will help you. In Jesus' name. There is an impartation that God is giving you. God is bringing you into a dimension of the anointing. It's, it's a strange level of grace that you are going to enter into. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that by this grace, He's going to lift you to a dimension that you have never seen. 
it will make you a light i'm seeing a torchlight shining and the lord is saying this is your destiny it will come with great illumination in the name of jesus your agnes two of you as i lay my hands on you whatever the issue is the lord is stepping in right now in the name of jesus christ 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 <sighs> jesus how time flies you see these are some of the things that before you know it just talking to people and it's already 10 and there is a lot to do right now because we're going to we're going to pray there are people who are going to go through very massive deliverance my sister this is the holding photos come come yes come now my dear Kai. Uh, i have to pray for you what i'm seeing who is this one again agnes madam your agnes i have to pray for you uh, uh, where are you coming from stretch your hands and pray that this woman will not die I kept looking at her because I'm seeing burial ceremony happening and I'm seeing her same face inside the coffin. What is this thing with this spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ? Please pray. You may not know how it doesn't matter. In the name of Jesus, we avert death. Hallelujah. Father, I lay my hands on this madam and in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that your grace will preserve her Amen. by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus. My dear, I want to pray for you. Are you married? Look at me. Look at me. I want to pray for you. There is serious bad luck in your life. You know what they say? Bad luck. Bad luck that at least... If some things are happening and other things are not happening but when there is nothing at all happening in your life it's not good in the name of Jesus I lay my hands may the God of all grace may the God of mercy step in right now in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of God's grace come darling come this small girl I keep seeing this girl again and again God is going to use this girl in a very mighty way in a very mighty way believe me this forget that you are seeing a little girl god is going to use her in ways that will surprise people father use this lady beyond imagination in the name of jesus let her experience your grace and your power in the name of jesus your grace and your power in the name of jesus there was a man and a woman that were sitting in front here just where i'm standing like an elderly man one one gentleman and a lady where are they please look for them are you together come how are you sir can i pray for you your, your first time here this is your first time from where from abuja i want to pray for you god is going to change your story i saw these things when i came up it's just that now the Lord said minister to them I don't know you never seen you but I want to pray for you let me tell you sir except the Lord builds a house they labor in vain hmm? except the Lord builds a house it doesn't mean I'm, I'm what do you do I'm seeing contracts it will be like it's coming but then it will disappear is that true yes one of the major things I brought you here because you are very skilled and you are very good there was you are supposed to have been a multi-millionaire since last year there is a big contract that god would have given you but for some reason the thing just went even you is still surprising you how that thing did not work is that true you you thought you offended the person you worked with because i noticed it's like you are communicating then communication broke there's no communication. yes is that true i want to pray for you you believe god can change stories you heard what i said here what's your relationship Oh, you are the wife wife god is about to visit your family in say amen in remarkable ways you are an architect you believe what i'm telling you look let me tell you something you see brothers and sisters we are going to pray but this thing eh, is not by power and by might one two is not by hustling 
are we together it's not by just god uses men but blessings don't come from men they come from god through men to you i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ you have children how many is that all don't be embarrassed i usually will not you saw that i kept quiet abby huh because i'm hearing the cry of a baby and i'm seeing a hospital and i'm seeing it's a baby girl this is what i'm seeing you see i'm not <laughs> i hope i'm not messing two of you up you have wonderful couples that came in peace for the issue of finances but then please don't be surprised whatever happens god is in control it's the will of god eh? um two children is not what because what i'm seeing you will be surprised i don't want to say this thing in public you said you have two children okay we'll see and then we'll talk about that eh? so that we don't uh... but in the name of jesus hold my hands the lord is going to honor you father lift this man up in the name of jesus i release an anointing enter a strange level of favor you came from abuja in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ madam as i pray for you the lord is going to open doors of favor beyond your imagination step into that dimension in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ lift your hands the guys outside are still there with them okay please um we have a few minutes and i want to pray seriously i want to god is going to be visiting people in very strange ways right now are we together please i like your heart to be connected there are everything that is sitting on anyone's destiny i'm going to pray and as i begin to pray i want you to believe god for a miracle a miracle come the lord keeps speaking to me about this lady's family that this family he will not rest until this family enters her rest that's what the lord is telling me praise the lord Lift your hands. Listen, when we pray like this, it's not just some jamboree to see people manifest. No, that's not the idea. But that there are spirits. There are spirits. Lady, look at me. Shift, please. Osha, shift. Let me talk to that lady. Just tap her, let her see me and noise her. Hold on, just where you are. Lift your hands. I'm seeing something crying and jumping out of you. I stretch my hands let it leave you now and leave you forever in the name of jesus brothers and sisters let me tell you spirits are real they take advantage 90 percent of people's challenges are caused by the presence of spirits and when we pray like this much more than the manifestation it is god visiting you to separate you from the obstacles that's really it you may come with 10 prayer requests caused by one spirit and just that spirit leaving you you go back and you see testimonies are we together lift your hands i want to pray jesus at the count of three please i want you to shout jesus please just if you can just clear the aisles for me it's going to be very 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 serious right now few minutes please let's be patient this is the last miracle service and let god do what you will do now at the count of three i want you all to shout the name jesus we do this every time not as a ritual it is the name that is above all names that every power and every force that dares to sit upon anyone's life manipulating the outcomes of your physical results in the name of jesus as you shout jesus inside outside may that fire begin to locate men are you ready now at the count of three one two three i command judgment on every strange spirit in the name of jesus please bring them out in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that every force sitting on anyone's destiny it's time for you to let them go 
by the power that is in the name of Jesus inside and outside I command judgment on the wicked lift your hands one more time we're going to shout Jesus lift your hands at the count of three the spirits of ancestry sitting on families that you will not rise let them go now one two three go 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 i open the door and i command you to leave them now leave their destinies now lift your hands i want to pray the bible says he has redeemed us from every tribe and every tongue and every nation but there are spirits that are rejecting it listen i'm seeing people in dreams having all kinds of intercourse with strange spirits and you wake up in the morning with bad luck you go to bed and a spirit human or animal entities i'm seeing it at the count of three something will happen to you that will set you free one two three shout jesus let them go release their destinies now strangers of the night strangers of the night i command you let them go lift your hands i'm still praying we're still praying i don't know why god is showing me dreams dreams destiny is manipulated through dreams manipulated through dreams you are going to shout that name again fire will come on you and that will be the end of it everyone here whose dream has been hijacked and the devil is bringing wars to your life at the count of three be free now one two three be free now be free now be free now Your hands i want to destroy patterns what happened to you happened to your brother what happened to your mother happened to your father they raped your mother they are now raping you they destroyed your father they are now destroying you no way in christ the bible says we have been separated let me tell you hold on many of you the power of god will come upon you from this prayer there are strange patterns abnormal coincidences that bring war to people's lives lift your hands when it's time to shout shout it with all your heart my god and my king i ask that you move like a mighty man and destroy patterns patterns at the count of three one two three be destroyed patterns the patterns i cost you in the name of jesus hallelujah please i like you to be sensitive there is a strong anointing god is doing a quick work very few minutes i don't know why god does it but he gives me that direction that as i begin to move around many things happen at once deliverance impartation several things just happen listen whatever your challenge is i want you to just it's not about me there are angelic just leave them that in the name of jesus as i walk around very fast god is going to step in and the power of god if there is anything unresolved as i pass your row i want you to believe the god of heaven is stepping stepping over your life right now stepping over your life in the name of jesus that anything that is yet to be settled i stretch my hands now right now let the anointing of the holy ghost
begin to settle people in the name of Jesus I command it I command it everything everything that is not of God of this role everything I cost you I cost you now in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost be free now be free in the name of Jesus lift your hands I decree I decree I'm seeing chains chains on this road lose them now lose them now lose them now lose them now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit lose them now be sensitive as the anointing comes to you is bringing you out now in the name of Jesus 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 hallelujah but listen those of you outside I want you to be sensitive our time is gone but we're going to be very fast as I pass your row many of you will see that the anointing of the Spirit will come on you the Lord is bringing breakthrough in the name of Jesus right now let there be breakthrough from the front row right down as I walk through in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands miracles breakthroughs right now by the anointing of the spirit receive it right now receive it i open closed doors god is opening someone's doors here yeah. i command doors be open doors be open just believe by faith doors be open doors be open as i come close to you the anointing of the holy ghost the anointing of the Holy Ghost is bringing that miracle right now let it be over let it be over I stretch my hands let it be over in the name of Jesus let it be over in the name of Jesus this last miracle service my sister your tears are over that's what the Lord is saying your tears are over the mighty God is moving on your behalf please lift your hands I command it receive right now receive right now an anointing is coming on people receive right now believe by faith receive right now change their stories change their stories change their left and right left and right the holy ghost is touching people over over captivity over as i come to your road believe by faith i stretch my hands somebody in this road your destiny has been tied i lose you now i lose you now i lose you now the anointing of the spirit is coming on you wherever you are I lose you now receive it right now in the name of Jesus bad luck bad luck leave him now over over forever over forever over the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands on this row I stretch my hands receive that grace right now receive that grace receive that grace by the anointing of the spirit I cast this devil out of him now in the name of Jesus there's somebody here the Lord is saying open the door of marriage I open it I don't know who that is receive the anointing now receive the anointing now now please those of you in this will take note I'm seeing an anointing. Shabe koto osata, eleke teko shoto breke te, skatali katos shebrekeria. There is a great man of God that God is raising here, out of this row, this row here. An anointing is coming on someone. A strange grace, please help them. In the name of Jesus, you will never, never be the same. Never be the same. God is solving people's problems. It has taken ten years, but I'm solving it. The Lord is saying. It has taken 10 years, but I'm solving your problem. Lady, look at me. The Lord is wiping your tears. That's what the Lord is saying. It's over, over, over by the Spirit. Over by the Spirit for your family. Over, over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to receive by faith. Believe. Someone is being healed here. God is taking away a family sickness, a pattern. Let it go now. This row I'm standing on. Shekotos kapariakata. Skelebato sobekato shekete. 
please believe release your faith in the name of jesus i'm standing here and i'm hearing a new song a new song god is giving some persons here a new song receive it right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus please believe my dear look at me lift your hands this lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands here i'm seeing the number 11 lord everyone that must enter their destiny here i separate you from witchcraft now 11 people right now there's someone in the media stand around the media there i'm seeing like lights just entered you and you are rising to a new dimension i saw someone at the media stand i've seen two people at the, the minister's row the minister's row the lord is touching them two people a strange anointing for speed i'm stretching my hands here right now and in the name of jesus i decree and declare i decree and declare step into that dimension of your destiny hallelujah please everyone very quickly our time is up i want you to lift your prayer request pass it to the last person quickly quickly please our time is up let's let's just be please be patient with me we'll be done in a jiffy but we need to do this a very quick walk it doesn't matter where i stand i don't have to stand in front just leave please ushers very quickly coordinate yourselves and collect them just lift it pass it to the last person and that last person lift it up please lift it up so that the ushers can collect everyone say after me in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit that between now and the end of this year every prophetic word over my life must come to pass lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice don't look at me pray i decree and i declare that between now and december every prophetic word that has been decreed every prophetic word that has been decreed must come to pass every prophetic word that has been decreed where the ushers they should collect you go ahead and pray go ahead and pray every prophetic word say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus i decree and declare the grace for extraordinary results i receive it right now lift your voice and pray please pray as you are praying you are receiving it in the name of jesus i decree and i declare please pray it Pray it with faith. A manifestation. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. Every human agent. That needs to partner with God to take me to the place of destiny i call you into my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray lift your voice and declare in the name of jesus after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus every dormant gift every dormant ability within me that should bless me but is not yet activated I activate it by the anointing 
lift your voice and pray every dormant gift every ability every dormant gift every ability by the anointing of the Holy Ghost activated say in the name of Jesus the grace for supernatural direction into the will of God for my life I receive that grace now open your mouth and pray the grace for direction into the accurate will of God two more prayer points say in the name of Jesus I take authority over the spirit of fear in my life in my family I decree and declare that I no longer fear lift your voice and pray I cause the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death fear of sickness last prayer point in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus every dimension of the anointing that must come upon me for the next season I open up my spirit and I receive it into my life lift your voice and pray the anointing is the difference The anointing is a difference. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, I want you to stretch your hands. You've heard the testimonies that come from this. This is a mystery that God gave those online I want you to stretch your hands from whatever nation of the world you're connecting from just whether it's your device whatever just believe by faith families gather together and we're here praying we're believing God the God of all flesh I want you to stretch your hands here as I bow my knees to the God of heaven and pray on these requests in the name of Jesus Christ all I want you to be saying is Lord everything I've dropped here I pick it up as a testimony are we together open your mouth and pray i decree and declare in the name of jesus please make sure all the requests are here make sure that the requests are here please pray I pick it up as testimonies. Are you praying? Lekata prakatosh. Lekata pakoroto soto prekete shakata kata parakatos. Turn it around, O God. Turn it around, O God. Impossible situations. Turn it around, O God. Hallelujah.
we rise in this kingdom brothers and sisters on the strength of the light the illumination the precepts of the kingdom that we have both accessed and engaged accessing it is a product of humility and desperate pursuit but engaging it is the product of faith accessing the word is not faith it gives you potential to manifest faith until you begin to engage the word i've said it that faith is simply a product of understanding obedience and courage understanding you cannot act upon what you do not understand sustainably obedience the ability to do to the latter and the courage to stay there regardless of the temporary results that you see are we together so may i remind us again that desire is not enough to rise in the kingdom i desire to encounter the anointing wonderful but that in itself will never expose you to dimensions of the anointing i desire to encounter the spirit of revelation wonderful but that will not bring you into those dimensions i desire to walk in kingdom wealth and prosperity wonderful but that will not bring it that way i desire to live long i desire to live strong i desire to be a leader i desire to be great our society is full of desire that's wonderful it's a good starting point except for the fact that desire alone will not amount to anything people desire to be anointed they desire to be blessed they desire to receive miracles they desire deliverance they desire healing but they stop at the level of desire and then believe that that's all they need to do no desire sponsors the appetite and the fortitude for pursuit when there is desire you will defy every excuse you will defy every consequence and pursue your pursuit gives you access your desire gives you the inner strength the tenacity the staying power to pursue information pursue light pursue an encounter are we together then if and when you have that encounter you have access to it now the next thing is to put your understanding to work to engage that truth you know the engaging part is where i truly believe that the church of the lord jesus christ has failed very well i have said it again and again that i don't believe the church of god is in ignorance necessarily by the grace of god the servants of god scattered around nigeria africa and the world have done well commendably well in being faithful dispensers of the mysteries of the kingdom are we together yes we give that credit to all the pastors the prophets the apostles the teachers and all the people who have contributed in supplying dimensions to the body of christ bridging the ignorance that is in the body but the results have not been very significant because we have stopped at the level of access and we believe that the moment you find truth automatically it should produce result no sir no sir truth must be engaged engaged to produce this mic has great potential to amplify my voice so that people can hear both within this vicinity and then through the power of the internet across the nations of the world but until this device is engaged accordingly not engage as you wish there is a pattern engage accordingly then it releases the full strength of it i can drop this mic and shout and there is a mic that is capable of amplifying my voice but i can turn and live a very very hard life i have access to the mic but i have not engaged it accordingly is that true so please let us deliver ourselves from this this um, is a combination of pride and folly that sweeps across the body of Christ that because we have accumulated a compendium of a lot of knowledge it automatically means that our lives will be a reflection no sir accumulation of spiritual information does not produce result 
it is the supply of the grace and the advantage of that grace that you take to engage to engage engaging is very important to engage means to put the, the word of God to work you engage it and stay there then it is at the point of engaging the word that God's integrity is committed there are many people when you teach on tithing they will help you finish the message but they don't engage it they don't do it they do it occasionally how about those who do not engage the power of speaking the word in faith how many people know about the mystery of a dance the mystery of praise how many people really do it is that true it is the doing that's why when an evangelist finishes preaching it doesn't say now that you have listened to me you are going to heaven you can be in that crusade ground and go to hell you can even be part of the organizer and still go to hell at the end of it he gives room for engaging are you here and you want to give your heart to the lord and then people come out it is only those who come out that we pray for we bless everybody but we pray for those who come out as a sign that the message has touched them they have understood and they have responded in acts chapter 4 the bible says that paul and um, peter and, and and john they were on their way to the temple and whilst they passed the beautiful gate the bible says they saw a man that had been crippled from birth there at the gate asking for arms and the bible says that he requested that they helped him you know like beggars would do and then peter looked at him and said silver and gold i do not have any but such as i have i give unto you in the name of jesus he said rise up and walk access but the man was there the bible never said he got up then the bible says peter help me pastor alpha peter held his hands and forced him to engage you see it is at the point of obedience that the power is released not when the word just comes this is the dynamics of results until the word of god is engaged with faith and understanding the word of god is as barren as whatever it is so the bible says he held his hands and while he motioned on him to rise you see that at that point the bible says he leaping stood that guy would have remained there and the apostles would have gone the power of god hovering around how about god genesis chapter one the bible says there was darkness from the hebrew word tohu wabohu darkness confusion and then the bible says the spirit of god the very force that is responsible for results and creation was hovering around but no change happened until god said and god acted he engaged and said let there be light be light appear reappear and then there was that and he said it and he saw it believers are largely not in ignorance so while we seek to open the body of christ to greater frontiers of revelation i am very concerned about our engaging the ones we know already because the truth of the matter is that if we commit ourselves diligently our life should begin to command certain levels of notable results you see the bible talks about a certain group of people it says they are ever learning is god blessing us already ever learning meaning that they have an appetite and that's supposed to be a good thing an appetite to explore let's go deeper wonderful let's go higher wonderful but the question is what do you do with all the conferences and conventions and meetings and sunday services wednesday prayer meetings many believers receive prophecies they receive words they study the bible they read books they have volumes and volumes of jottings access but they do not engage and so at the end of it they are disappointed they are angry at themselves and at god and they are almost tempted to say lord your word did not work and god says no 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 let's be fair show me what you did from january till now how many times did you tithe? say lord let's not talk about that one just did you bless me or not and god says look at it 
Lord, you didn't heal me from the pain. And God said, did you do what was told to do? The day an instruction was given to celebrate and praise. When the Bible says rejoice in the Lord, how many times did you commit yourself to obeying it? Rejoicing not just as what you want to do, but as a key to your breakthrough. Are we together? Engaging the word. Let me tell you something. The Bible says the kingdom of God, that you have to become like a child. Do you know why? Um... In our civilized 21st century society where we are so right conscious, we don't want anybody violating on anything. I, I, you know, don't violate me. I'm a citizen. I'm intelligent. I went to school. We are so right conscious. It's very difficult for us to submit ourselves to the simplicity of the truth of God's word. Are we together now? The word of God declares this is what must be done to receive this outcome. We argue we explain intellectually we bring all kinds of even spiritual and theological dissertations to explain away the simplicity and god says well i'm not the one in need you're the one who is looking for the solution look how difficult we make it to get the anointing look how difficult we make it to be prosperous look how difficult we make it to rise look how difficult we make it to get the power of god let me tell you the truth the difficulty is that i think sometimes we preachers do not show people where to engage the word we dispense the word but at the end of it we do not leave our sermons with the action point the very point and that's where members don't like that's why we like prophecies a lot because it's an extension of our desire to refuse to act upon the word most members hate it when you commit to them and say okay i have shown you this is now how you engage and they say no no can't you just what is prophesy this thing and let me move forward i don't know how many people i counsel and i tell them oh apostle this is what is going on this is this and that and i tell them okay uh, go to the media stand pick one or two messages listen to it and come back i see how they turn and greet somebody and just move around and highest they check around and see um if there is an opportunity for a joke and they you know believers were spiritually lazy not because we don't fast and we don't pray but that point of engaging the word one of the greatest blessings of the life and the ministry of bishop david oyedeko in my life is that among other things his nature of dispensing the word is such that he shows you what to do good master the rich man said what must i do to be saved he wasn't saying can i save myself lord i know that it is within your character to partner with men where is my own part of the deal we hate this talk and you know the western world may god bless them we have received so much from them but i think that this this error of allowing god to do everything to show his sovereign claiming that and whether we add anything to it or not it cannot be done no brothers and sisters listen the bible says the heavens even the heaven of heavens is the lord it says but the earth has he given to the sons of men there will always be a cooperation a partnership between god and men for anything serious to happen god is still sovereign but he has chosen to limit himself so that men can also be reflectors of his glory please learn this if anything is to change in your life it is not all up to god there is a part where you have access to light and then engage that light access to it and you engage it not access alone we have done pretty well in understanding it so as i dispense these truths by the grace of god alongside all the men and women of god scattered in this nation and around the world please i like us to make a commitment that we will not only be hearers will not only be receivers in terms of just hearing it into our ears but that we will always search for the areas that will require our own partnership your partnership with the word of god does not negate what god has done your partnership with the word of god is what makes it your experience until you partner with the word of god it remains a prophecy or a promise it is your engaging the word that converts every promise to your testimony to your experience 
right from the foundations of the earth the lamb has been slain but the day you hand over your life to jesus that's the day salvation becomes your experience is that true the bible says by his stripes we are healed but the day you hear the word you receive it and engage appropriately the bible says again and again that the lord gives men power to prosper but this is not our experience for many of us in the body of christ the day we are willing to not only receive the precepts but sustain the grace you see this is th this is the true idea of grace i told you grace is like love grace has love has depth height that's how grace is there is a dimension of god's grace that is his unmerited favor or unmerited access that means god kept that dimension exclusive to himself because there is absolutely nothing any man can do for instance the grace that saves men are we together now there is nothing a man can do by his own strength to save himself you can only partner but there is a dimension of grace that is an empowerment to do you will do the doing it's just that the energy is not yours now this is the dimension of the grace of god that the body of christ has not understood so he empowers you with a capacity that is more than what you ordinarily would do then he will grant you grace so he supplies that grace are we together now yes if i prophesy to pastor alpha now i am operating a, i am doing the speaking it is willing he's not opening my mouth i'm opening my mouth by myself but i am communicating an intelligence that is not given to mere men that intelligence you call it the gift of the spirit you call it the prophetic is what the bible calls grace the power to do the power to do bless you sir are we together if we begin to pay attention to engaging the things we already know brothers and sisters i submit to you that our lives will be a thousand times better than it is in every wise the problem truly speaking is not ignorance i told you again and again and i'll continue to say it i do not believe the body of christ as a corporate entity is in ignorance there are still greater lands to conquer in the spirit there are still deeper dimensions that god will open us but you see the system of god is he studies what you have done with what he has given you first and that qualifies you to receive more the parable of the five two and one talent the bible says that when he granted unto them stewardship the one with five talents engaged correct the one with two talents engaged the one with one talent just buried it and left it there when the master came for accountability he said well um you were a hard man you like reaping where you don't sow so i i just thought instead of wasting my time i kept it on the guy can go and remove your thing collect your thing the bible says they collected it from that man and gave it to the one with five talents so you see increase is a product of doing something with the grace and the dimension god has given you a pastor who will not pastor two members or ten members with all his heart and bless them and sits down pasting pictures of a million members is joking and dreaming a man of god who will not engage diligently god gives you ten thousand naira you mismanage it carelessly you do not find out the principles of god there's nothing in it for god there is no system of accountability and wise use of it you can't sit down and be mesmerizing on 1 million 10 million god does not work like that are we together how about anointings there are men of god who admire their whole assignment is more power and god says calm down the grace i've given you is enough to save souls even if it can't heal sick bodies now show how you have engaged that grace enough to be able to open you up to other access and say lord what is salvation anybody can do it then god grants you the grace for intercession and he said lord that one is too hard i need power direct raw power to just prophesy or lay hands and god says no you'll never work that way never work that way god is revealing to us as simple as what i'm sharing is god is showing us the reason why the issues of our lives don't change 
it's not because the word of God has failed it is because we seldom engage the word we complain we receive the word let me tell you what most of us do you know when when people complain about certain areas i ask them have you listened to this my teaching before i finish they smile and the person is not getting the result and he will listen now he say ah, have you listened to um 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 evidence of genuine intimacy they help you finish it and you look at this guy and you know that this guy doesn't know god for sure are we together now yes then you tell him go and listen to it and he plays around while he's just listening distracted doing a lot of things gisting with friends and then catching up and then he tells you sir i just finished there are there are certain teachings one hour teaching but i finished them in three days one hour teaching in three days because every five five minutes i'm stopping jesus something just entered my spirit i see i was studying something there and i almost jumped i almost jumped from my bed i said yeah yeah what is this he said, I have not read this Bible before. I had to look at it again. I found my Bible. Drilled the thing again. I don't know what I caught years ago that made me draw it, but that ink was already fading. I drew a fresh one to remind me that this is a fresh revelation. What? This is the Bible? Opened up another light for me. You finish a three hours message. You never pause <laughs> to listen, to learn even when something is very powerful you are just saying, wow just continue even the way you study in school brothers and sisters that's not how you do well you pause the psalmist will say sila pause ponder think write if need be pray if need be hallelujah if you don't like what i'm saying forget about results god is not a herbalist hallelujah yes. look at the aspects of your life you will see that there are certain areas you are in total ignorance but you will see that there are certain areas you already have the requisite knowledge truthfully speaking you already know what to do and the grace has been supplied but that spiritual nature, that laziness to comply accordingly and stay until results manifest that's what causes a lot of trouble what do you have in your house nothing except a cruise of oil and the prophet said that's it madam this is what i want you to do go why didn't the prophet prophesy vessels find your way to this poor woman's house say madam carry the energy you have left and go and borrow vessels he said borrow not a few when she came she met him and said sir i've done as you have said he said now you qualify for the next instruction close your door she would never receive the next instruction if she did not obey the last one is god speaking to us yeah and he said close the door when you close the door start engaging the oil the oil has capacity to give you any kind of miracle but when engaged and the bible says she kept pouring and the oil kept multiplying how about the widow in zarephath when the prophet came, he said, Woman, how are you? Fine, sir. Water, please. Ah, I don't have much, but I'm a generous woman. And just bake the remaining bread for me. He said, We're about to eat with my son to die. He said, Madam, I'm, I'm here not because I'm hungry. I'm here so that you will survive. So just handle this treasure is in eating vessels. You better quickly come and feed me first. The woman would have said, You are such a heartless and stupid man. You are the prophet they've been talking about you are a wicked man i would make sure i tell all those who have you are ah, ah, you see me and a child you don't even love women and start another funny women movement and say look there are prophets who don't they collect things from women and the bible says that she her engaging that thing all of a sudden she turned and discovered that the flower i'm showing you how this works how about three days they spent three days on the mountain and then the people said these guys are hungry there will be commotion here now and jesus said feed them said, ah, feed them even a year's worth of food no miracle could happen until there there was something from men and andrew found a young boy and carried his bread his, his lunch box as they call it 
and all of a sudden Jesus lifted it and gave thanks and there was multiplication who taught you that things happen by themselves it is the dynamics of the workings in terms of God's part that is none of your business the Bible says just as you do not know the way bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child nor the way of the wind that's how you cannot tell the work of God there is a part of this equation that you can never know it is sponsored by the wisdom of God for instance how your destiny helper will come is not your business your own is to engage what brings them your destiny helper can be a donkey a donkey needs to be missing for you to find Samuel. Doesn't matter. You think if God asks Saul to choose how he will receive the anointing, will he choose the, the disappearance of a donkey? Leave the acting to God. Your own is obey to the latter. And then you will watch God use anything to act that drama until you receive the anointing. Let me tell you where spiritual fatigue comes. When we want to know how the details how will i pay my rent lord i know you are faithful but let's let's be honest here and god is saying me you are telling me to be honest <laughs> do you believe what i'm saying yes so we don't engage the word at all at all master if it be thou bid me come and jesus said really you want to see a new dimension i've given you a word engage it come all of them stood and said, oh yeah. He didn't say, Peter, come. He just said, come. Whoever walked. He said, come. And all of a sudden, Peter got up and walked. And it was, it, it was surprising, Peter. I'm walking. And he was laughing. And all of a sudden, he was about sinking. Many people see the sinking part. They don't see the part that Jesus stopped him from sinking because he had to be responsible over his word. Peter's mistake at the point of obedience had to be addressed by Jesus himself. If Peter sank, Jesus would be to blame. After all, Jesus knew he was learning. He said, come. Obey him and perish. And watch whether you will perish. Listen, learn this. I'm teaching you how faith works. Peter. He held him and said, no. If you walked on your own, like Jonah, Jonah was not helped because he was in disobedience. So the whale swallowed him. What bailed Jonah out was mercy. Are we together? These are the systems of the kingdom. This is how it works. guys go and preach in my name heal the sick cast out devils and jesus ah, jesus won't you go with us say no 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 just go i've given you my name say where is it say just believe keep going and when they met the first sick person um my name is sir you saw me with that other guy he really sent us i'm not really sure about this i've not mastered it but i hope you are not offended if i pray for you and peter laid hands on someone and all of a sudden to his shock Peter said, this thing is working. Let's do it again. They returned back to Jesus and said, Hi! Jesus, even the devils that we fear so much were subject to us in thy name. And Jesus said, that, those are little issues. Let's talk about Don't rejoice because of that. Be honest with yourself tonight. Is it really that God has not been faithful? Or you have not engaged the word? You have been told that prayer and fasting are keys for true revival and spiritual power. Be honest with yourself. Have you engaged it with understanding? Don't sit down and say, God is not anointing me. What do you think? The anointing is not a charm. You eat anything, anywhere, anyhow, anytime. No, sir. No, sir. How about breakthrough? There are many of us that want breakthrough. You hear people, the fact that God is doing it to one person. That per, you see, do you know why we allow testimonies? The most important part of testimonies is not the result. It's the bridge between the problem and the solution. 
what did the person do that's what your spirit should be sensitive about for many of us we wait till the end of it then we say wow you mean it this is how i live my life i don't sit down and tell god lord create the changes i say no lord i know i give you all the praise show me my own part and i stand up and start engaging it start engaging it start engaging it what of our family members oh god will you keep watching us like this and god says no listen to joshua selman oh god i don't have the time i'm like i was saying will you keep changing our lives and god says you are violating an ordinance it's not going to change husband is standing wife is standing children are standing devil is destroying that family and wrecking their lives they are arguing with one another and not interested in change and god says listen when it comes to this thing you can't help yourself it is by a prophet that the lord brought them out of egypt and by a prophet they were preserved even if you are a midwife when you are about to give birth you need another midwife to help you that you are a midwife does not mean you can deliver yourself listen to this and understand there are systems in the kingdom a time comes when your personal anointing cannot give you the breakthrough you are looking for. is god helping us so so many people arrogantly sit down and say what is there is it not man of god man is it not the same jesus that died for us and they sit down there and their problems continue to compound and multiply whereas there is enough grace to trivialize that problem and reduce 10 years of problems in a moment how long please help me how long listen i think it was in it was in mina over the weekend we were preaching for um bishop it was it was such a an awesome time with him and uh, bishop achaya and i was sharing there i said every anointing listen to me every challenge has the level of anointing that can address it that you are anointed is not generic in results the anointing is levels when your challenges are higher than your level of anointing or the level of anointing close to you you're already in trouble there are three ways to come out of that thing grow in the anointing to a level where it can surmount it or trust god for access to personalities whose price in the spirit has granted them access to the level of grace that can throw away that problem brothers and sisters in my little life i've had the privilege of seeing what the anointing of the spirit how it can rubbish a situation that is within the level the jurisdiction of that anointing to solve it almost in a moment in a twinkling of an eye and that challenge is gone but i've also seen how frustrated an anointed man can be in the face of a challenge that is higher than your level of anointing it will rubbish you as if you have never met god believe what i'm teaching you if the mysteries of the kingdom are not engaged this family now will get up and say okay we have read in the bible and let me tell you what happens they begin to pray at least it's a starting point while they pray the holy ghost will take the mother or the father to a scripture and said study the life of saul of kish do everything they did and so they start studying a donkey was missing we for us an animal was not missing let me show you how the, the holy spirit helps people what is missing joy peace love breakthrough finances spiritual upliftment what did they do they started moving around and a servant said let's go and meet a man of god and the holy spirit says go and do likewise and they stand up and the holy spirit now tells them look there's a miracle service coming you see the word of god is becoming alive you are acting you can sit down at home and say god has brought it he said we should go for the miracle service and then give all kinds of flames you excuses it is raining i'm not very happy i didn't eat well we were not joyful yesterday those things are the ways demon spirits keep people but when you stand up as you are walking to come 
heaven is recording your obedience and already scheduling the system for your miracle now while you are coming you are not even sure you will meet me but you are coming anyway while you are coming you are not even sure you will have space but you are coming anyway are you seeing how this thing works you come anyway and you sit down and to your greatest shock it was never for you to meet me while the praise and worship is on fire lands on your situation and all of a sudden you see someone calling you repeated calls and you have to avoid it after or whatever program you just go and check and someone is calling you and saying sir remember we were supposed to strike a deal and it didn't work I, my spirit was moving me and you say god this is you let me show you how breakthrough happens breakthrough is what is like the working of miracles you know how you cook food you don't drop onions pepper fish whatever it is you drop on the table and just shout and say food cook no you walk it how do you walk it you get a pot firewood or whatever you are using you start engaging sometimes it will be painful as you are cutting something knife can cut you but you are more interested in the food than that temporary pain is by eating the food the pain will be healed so continue and at the end of it you have a lovely meal and everybody who comes around wonders brothers and sisters it is true that god gave grace but you worked it are we together this part of engaging the word is what i want i want to drum it into our spirits nothing will change in your life just because you are a christian the word of God must be engaged. Hallelujah. Mm. Sacrifices, praise, several things. You must engage the word of God. There are some of us here, you have never sown a seed. I'm not saying to me, please don't get what I'm saying. But you have never, most of us is 95% receiving, 5% giving. You will be broke forever. That's the equation of poor people. Are we together yes give me your own is to collect lord who is going to give me and the lord says when are you going to create your own harvest have you not heard that if the cloud be full of rain if you use a spoon to spend to send vapor to the air you will spend your whole life there are other people who don't allow challenges to last they walk it till it gives up they walk it till it gives up I believe in results i am motivated by results i'm very very outspoken about results i'm not one of those people who lie to you and say it doesn't matter it matters sir results matter human beings were designed to remain motivated when what you engage produces is that true yes when a woman gets pregnant we're happy for her pregnancy and we can endure everything that the pregnancy carries provided there will be a child at the end is that true yes when somebody like the people sharing now the lady that was sharing about the rigor that she went through you know now the most important thing is that finally the result is cleared and all of that when you do things the pain is when you put so much energy and time and then it does not yield results this is what i want to cancel from our life hallelujah breakthroughs are predictable hmm. the help of god is predictable the mercy of god is predictable results are predictable please my brother my sister let me beg us in the name of jesus to not sit down and hope things change i'm delivering you from it because after 10 years it will remain like that until it changes there are people who as of january this year wrote down a list of certain things they submitted it and asked questions lord how do i engage with you and right now god has ticked those things with results there are others all they do every miracle services god arise for me they drop it every instruction god gave from january till now they have not done one lift up your hands they won't lift up pray they won't pray 
celebrate God, dance around you know, all these things. How can I be a, a child? We left these things. Am I in a party? You see that? I told you about dancing. I don't like dancing. It's not anything I admire at all. But it's a, it's a key. You know how drugs are. How you swallow drugs. Sometimes when you swallow drugs, especially maybe a syrup, it can be so bitter. Especially when you are giving children. They are trying to deny, but your love keeps them there. Swallow it. When they swallow it, you pamper them later on. Swallow it. Do you pity the child? Say, oh yeah, I'll leave you like that. No. That's how it is. When you are obeying God, don't pity yourself. Oh. No, sir. Don't pity yourself. Abraham carried Isaac and said, up we go. When he kept looking at Isaac, Isaac, I love you, but this one. See, be careful. Some of us get too emotionally connected to every area of our lives that is difficult for us to get to the next level. You are emotionally connected to your money. You are emotionally connected to your title. You are emotionally connected to whatever. That's why it is difficult for us to give up things to go high. You are emotionally connected to your ministry. My ministry. The word of God works. It is reliable. This is how God has helped us by his mercy to be where we are today. And this is how he will help us to rise. But the key is that we engage the word. The key is that we engage the word. We don't sit down and make God responsible for everything and laugh around and fool ourselves. That's not faith. No. That's not faith. You must take inventory of your life. You'll be surprised to know that this is not even my message this night. I just came and this thing started boiling in my spirit. God is my witness whom I serve. That I am passionate about seeing every one of us produce results. See, let me tell you. If you are a man of God and you are the only one rising, you are, you are a big failure. Doesn't matter what you, whether it's car, house, no. i rather fail as a person and you succeed. Your success will turn me into a success. You see that? Let me be honest with you in all sincerity. Some of the things I teach you, God has helped me in those areas. So it's not like I'm teaching with any interest for myself. I'm hearing a song in my spirit. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again hallelujah thine the glory hallelujah amen hallelujah thine the glory revive us hallelujah lord i want to become a public speaker you dropped it here you have not engaged the word. You found a scripture, but you have not done anything with it. Lord, I want to become a man of God. And the only thing you are thinking about is starting a church. You know, sometimes, I, sometimes the way, the way we pastors behave is why we keep struggling forever. Brothers and sisters, if you have eight days to cut a tree, use seven days sharpening the knife use seven solid days stand in the sun and sharpen the knife i promise you you will hit that tree once and it will fall but you can carry a blunt knife axe and even if they give you 90 days the tree will not fall hallelujah don't jump into things take out quality time to engage this thing engage this thing God is calling, let me use you promise, come. God is calling promise into ministry, for instance. Go and start a ministry in Delta or start a ministry in U.S. And the, the only thing he does is, just says, wow, I, 
I have learned enough. You just jump and go to Delta. And after five years, you are still roaming around as if God didn't call you. In that five years, those who engage the word are swimming in grace. Whereas you are there frustrating the grace of God. After 10 years, you now leave it and say you want to go and join military or police. They say your age has passed. You now say you want to join something else and your life and you blame God. And God says, no, you refuse to engage the word. I told you time never changes anything. It only reveals. Time reveals whether you have been engaging properly or you have been wasting your time. But God calls this guy now and he sits down, Lord, what kind of ministry are you giving me? Oh, this is this. And he's studying, he's learning, he's building. How do we do church finances in a way that you don't play pranks on people? He's learning. How do we build membership? When members cross 500, how do you manage them? You are learning. How do I grow in the anointing? When I have three to five sermons to preach every week, how do I manage it with my family life? What if I have a business running? How do I manage it? This gentleman works on himself. I tell you, he gets up and in one year, start a ministry and all the forces that should be there are there. Everything done, whereas another person is struggling and angry. Now, this is, anger is usually a product of frustration. When you try to do things and you are angry and someone comes and it becomes effortless. You see, one of the proof of mastery is how effortless you are. When you, when you execute your plans effortlessly, how are you doing it? And people begin to coin explanations. I don't want to live a life of a failure. I don't want to. Number one, it does not glorify God. Number two, it's going to waste my time. Number three, there are many people connected to me in the spirit and my failure is going to affect them and destroy them and tear their lives into pieces. One of my greatest fears, if I have any, is to walk and to walk with God for a long time and then to find that the things I've believed are a lie. That's why I'm meticulous about the construction of my beliefs. Lord, what I believe about finances, is it accurate? What I believe about the anointing, is it accurate? What I believe about fasting and prayer, is it accurate? I'm not ashamed though. If at any point I find out there is a problem, I'm not ashamed. I, okay, Lord, let's look at this. This is what I used to believe. But now I'm seeing, I'm learning this. Wow, amazing. I'm growing. And you are just. Let me tell you something. There are many anointings to lift our family members, but it is at the mercy of their engaging. They only complain and insult. They insult every anointing that can bring them breakthrough. And they sit down and hope and wish they will learn. You will be surprised, and I don't mean to be sarcastic. You will be surprised to know how many people live within this vicinity who have never received of what God is doing. It will be shocking and surprising. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, the trouble is, you are the one who is the patient. Who cries, the patient or the hospital? Please talk to me. When the patient insults the hospital, does the hospital have tears? The hospital will, will be busy treating those who are ready. Is that true? Lord, I don't want to live my life as a failure. Results can be commanded. This thing has been done before. I'm not asking you where you grew up, whether it's in your village or whatever. I'm not asking what has happened in your life. Brothers and sisters, this anointing we talk about is God's own ability. But are we willing to engage it to produce the required result? Do it honorably and fail. And the Lord will do for you what he did for Peter. He held his hand and lifted him. This is how God brought some of us, my brother, my sister. It's not as if anybody signed and gave any guarantee and said, start ministry if you need money, we'll support you. Start ministry if you need members. No, 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 no. Engaging by faith. 
when people see the results they trivialize it sometimes people just talk all kinds of things but then they do not know that these things were engaged access is not enough the word the truth the mystery the principle the revelation must be engaged it must be engaged it must be engaged there is a part you have to play play it and watch god watch god arise for you as a mighty god and turn things around for you hallelujah do you believe what i'm sharing with you this thing does not take time it just takes commitment if i'm building a house listen and i have workers building a house for me and they are working they start working by six and by night there are those who do night shift and are working is that true and there is another lazy builder the workers come by 10 they close by two whose house will be built first you see that now the amount of commitment you give to this thing determines the result it will deliver to you there is no way around it i watch our fathers of faith and i'm surprised that with the kind of results they command you still see them engaging this thing they are working it with all their heart i was watching a video by dr paul Enenche, and um, i'm saying this only because he said it he was preaching this year at um, bill winston's ministry and the lord's garden the magnificent structure that they are building around the airport road in abuja and he said just for the the zinc alone just to cover that place they are spending 16 million us dollars zinc not building 16 million us dollars in a time of recession debt free now only a fool and a stupid person 16 million dollars will more than answer the request of many ministries times 10 and this is what is used for zinking so a wise person says this is the result i'm looking for it is on earth already happening in someone's life so what do you do you follow them who through faith and patience what did he engage because he was not born like that as at 1999 god's servant dr paul and nature was in one room in abuja there were people who were in the houses they are still there today because they didn't engage anything as at 99 he was there with his wife in one room and all of a sudden rises to do something there are people still there today brothers and sisters if your life must change it's not up to god alone god's power is available i have indoctrinated myself into being a responsible believer that nothing will ever change just like that hallelujah what are you doing in partnership with the word of god do you understand the principle and the mystery that connects your challenge or your desire and the outcome do you understand then if yes are you engaging completely The future will show the mysteries and the things that koinonia is engaging is it's not it's not something to blow trumpet and talk about now but the future will tell what is being engaged today you see that something i do not know is responsible for where i am something i know but have not believed is also responsible for where I am something I have believed but I've not acted upon consistently is responsible for where I am while you are seated can you pray cry to God and say Lord I repent I've been handing over the responsibility of my results entirely to you but now I have heard you I have seen it very clearly that nothing will change by itself are you praying some of you are looking at others forget about them and cry for your destiny 
apostle i graduated since five years ago nothing has happened in my life show me what you are engaging first let me see what you have done i thought i would have a job who told you you will have a job just like that show me the mystery you engaged and the mystery you are engaging keep praying show me what you are engaging apostle i expected that by now i should not be begging for food to feed my family show me what you are engaging or are you just waiting for things to happen show me apostle i expected by now that my ministry should be strong enough financially show me what you are engaging let me see it apostle i expected that by now i should be flowing at certain levels of the prophetic certain levels of the anointing show me what you are engaging sir i expect that i should be established by now i should have had a car and a house show me what you are engaging don't just wish for nothing i've been coming to church that's not enough what have you engaged pray nothing will ever change my brother my sister access to truth is not enough it must be engaged though access to truth is not enough apostle i've listened to all your messages on favor wonderful have you done what was said in the message consistently have you done what was said in the message having the readiness to judge every disobedience if and only when your obedience is complete let's not turn god to a game player playing pranks and 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 expect strange results pray you don't commit 30 minutes to god 30 minutes of your life the remaining part of your life and you want to carry fire which god are we talking about here prayer zero word life zero passion and hunger for spiritual things zero and you want to carry the anointing no sir no sir no sir no sir show me the time you commit to study show me the time you commit to sacrificing your sleep show me how you engage with the word show me the videos you watch show me the retreats the times alone that you spend with god and i can tell you why your result is the way it is it's not magic it's not magic it's not magic hallelujah listen to me you know let me say this honestly there are many men of god who see ministries that god has blessed with crowds like this and they do not know the enormous responsibility of pastoring thousands of people they think all about standing here sometimes you see me stand here let me confess and tell you truly most of the time i stand here most times i'm waiting on god is when i go back that i eat something there are times that the water you see me take here is the first thing that is entering my stomach as i stand i'm not saying that's what you must do after service you see me stand here to see people sometimes past 12 last week i went home to one don't want crowd if you cannot engage what is going to be there are we together now we want things without the responsibility attached to it you before you barely rest someone has woken you there is a challenge you when i came you saw me talking on phone and i called the protocol because they needed to respond to an emergency somewhere the people don't care that there is service listen let me tell you for every dimension there is a price i, I wish I don't know how to make you believe this thing if you are unwilling to pay the price please forget about the dimension there are levels of anointing that when it comes to your life 
the moment certain things are not done, it will destroy you. It's better for it to have not come. Believe what I'm telling you. Jonah, Jonah, Jonah entered a boat and people, they started losing things. And when they were checking, they said, what is making this boat heavy? Jonah said, I'm the one who, if I were not anointed, I would have slept quietly. But because of what I carried, you are suffering for something now. There are levels to not pray for when you are not ready for certain sacrifices. Oh God, open my eyes. Are you ready to pray for everything you see? Because you will see things that will disturb you. You are about to rest and you see a plane crash. You are about to rest and you see a car crashing somebody. And if it happens that way, God will call you and say, if your eyes were closed, you are free. But hence you cried and said, open my eyes. It's not about prophesying, you no. Know, there is a responsibility. Oh God, make me rich. Let me be your distributor. And God stands and says, as you are leaving your house now, carry 50,000. My people are in need of it. Yes, sir. Ha. Oh God, you said you want to be my steward. Oh yeah, carry it. And somebody comes and while you are talking, he says, give 5,000 to Sam. There are two little children. Give all of them one 1,000. And you are acting like a fool. And God says, that's how my distribution system works. The day you are not interested, I close the heavens. As simple as that. I see a lot of greedy people admiring blessed people and think that there are people for over two months. Your offering is 10 naira. Or one year, 10 years. You drink is five for life. How much is five for life? And then you squeeze as an adult working class. You come to church with 10, 20 naira and drop it. And say, but what are these young people doing? Are you joking? Brothers and sisters, let me submit to you. If you ever try to sow seeds like me, it may kill you in one month. I'm telling you this sincerely. Lord, make me a millionaire. He says, are you ready to sponsor 70 children? He said, no, no, I don't want that. Oh God, you gave me only two. He says, that's it. Whoever wants it my way must be ready to do my bidding. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us. Is God speaking to us tonight? Stop claiming things blindly when there is no sincerity. Oh God, give me a give me an international anointing okay do you have the grace to counsel to preach three five times a week can you be sleeping on the road can you be sleeping in the air that becomes your new bedroom can you sacrifice that much it's not all about putting water and clapping say sacrifice let me tell you this and i stand before the god of heaven thank god he's here you are spiritual people. Less than 15% of my prayers is for myself. God is my witness. Less than 15% for myself. Father, bless your people. Change their story. A text message comes. Sometimes you don't see me reply your text message. It doesn't mean I don't pray over it. Do you have the sacrifice? Can people come to your house and you carry your last meal and give them? Everything. And then they don't tell you thank you. And God said it's none of your business. Leave the issue is between me and you. Please listen to me. Oh. These are the engagings. It's not just about honor. It's not just about sitting. I'm ready to be a man of God. Are you ready for the criticism? Everything about your life is an open book. Everybody criticizes everything. Can you sit down hearing people criticize you and still sleep sound and get up in the morning? Some of you who are so sensitive. I think you stole my phone. How can I be the thief? And you are moving around and you want to do ministry? You must be broken and you must be worked on by God. Is God speaking to us? This teaching is very sincere most of us see blessed people and just admire them and i look at the greed that is in many people's lives 
greed you can sit down somebody saying i've not eaten there is one thousand naira in your pocket you say go and meet apostle go and meet apostle he, 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 he likes giving just talk to him and he will give you and this is the person holding one thousand naira and you are saying oh god when will you visit and god even scholarship you will not see for where are we together this is how this thing works so send 200 naira recharge card to your mother you rejected it whereas somebody transferred 1000 to you and god says take 200 say how, how many and it's not like there is an important discussion and god says i'm watching your heart you are not engaging this thing let me show us why we are really not getting results let's be honest with ourselves am i engaging the word Cain got angry because of Abel's results and God said no no this is not about Abel if you do what Abel did to the latter will you not get his result hear me it doesn't cost God to raise help for you there is something we are not doing that is keeping the heavens closed there is something a man of God is not doing that's why his ministry is not growing there is something a father a mother a brother a sister is not doing that's why we are perpetually in lack and suffering and penury every guy that comes to me lives in two weeks five guys have come sister calm down could there be that there's something you are no 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 there's nothing wrong with me yeah i just happen to have bad luck with stupid guys five of them stupid that means something in you is attracting them because you draw your kind to yourself the body of christ likes passing blames we blame witches we blame pastors we blame government we blame our parents let me tell you your miracle starts the day you get a chair or go behind one tree and sit down. i'm surprised seeing many gentlemen their lives are not moving they are not doing anything after colonia you're just looking at any sister who can i now marry you this one that time is going and there's nothing happening you see what we're saying A gentleman who will go and sit down with a biro and your bible and a tape recorder lord it can't be this way the word of god is coming every day why is my life like this i am 31 i am 35 i am 40 i'm seated i can i have to beg for gary lord i love you something is wrong and all of a sudden you come there your friend is calling say leave me alone no, you better leave me alone say is, is your did you renew your dstv say don't near my house you have been deceiving me for many years and you sit down and all of a sudden the word of the lord comes this sitting down is what we don't do we stand up moving around this hustling life pillar to post one thing is needful sit down first stand up as instructed don't move around just like that it, it, see the labor of the fool the engaging of a fool weary at every one of them because he doesn't know the road to the city not every action is profitable it is the action that is done in obedience and through understanding apostle i'm anointed i'm surprised i organize a meeting and nobody comes there is something you need to know more about the anointing it's more than laying hands apostle people come to my church they receive miracles and go back that means there is something you need to know about leadership you have done well knowing about miracles but there is something you do not know about leadership please blast in tongues for one minute and say lord i'm tired of this level i'm tired of this level i'm tired of this level i'm tired of this dimension i'm tired of this face lift your voice and pray lord i know you are ever faithful pray i take responsibility tonight there is something i am not engaging adequately 
Lekate broske sekete marakato se biada. Hela masena na malena mashe ananadadadada. Hallelujah. Please sit down. The Lord has brought before us several keys, mysteries, secrets that are responsible for certain outcomes. Brothers and sisters, it's up to us. There are lazy people waiting for others to enjoy, to engage it, then they enjoy the benefit. You cannot sit down and be dependent forever. Our little children should be the ones waiting. But an adult, oh, you know that thing they say in Hausa, Ale Baka Musamu. So while you are engaging, I'm resting. After all, you'll be too kind to leave me like that. Nah. The Bible says, right from the days of John the Baptist, even until now, the kingdom suffered violence. And the violent would take it by force. Someone who will say, No way, Lord, I will force what is my portion from the realm of the spirit life does not deliver anything to careless less as fair if it happens it happens no everybody who receives anything worthwhile are those who stand in life and force their own force it down this passive i'm no one day things will happen we are not angry enough that's why we have not broken the back of certain things in our life We are learning. I've shared with you. There are some of us, the reason why we are not getting results in our lives is because we ignore God. I've shared these principles. You don't ignore God and prosper, sir. Okay, um, I'm a businessman. Me, I'm not into ministry. Ignore God and see. Ignore God and watch the devil rubbish your life. Many business people don't honor God. They honor business, they honor men, but they don't honor God. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. How many people start working and they, they don't have time for God? Time for the house of God? No. Time for the things of God? I'm a bit busy. Lord, you know that I'm, I'm engaged. And God says, hey, you are engaged. And then the devil comes to rubbish your life and your work. One sickness arises and just destroys you. Somebody in your office looks at you and says, let me see how you will rise to the next level. And that's, it is they that know their God that shall be strong and do exploits. To, the fierceness in today's world does not require guessing about God. You must know God. Hallelujah. I've said it humorously. Only God can tell the number of charms and shrines and herbal places that have my names on their altars. Only God knows the people who project me as I sleep to make sure I don't wake up. This man you see is here for a long time. Very long time. Is that true? Some of us have refused. We have been drumming mental development. And we have refused. So we are mediocre where we are. It's amazing how when the word of God comes, people exempt themselves. Say, this part is not for me. This is the part for me. No. All scripture was inspired. How many? All scripture. God can be talking about mental development. And you can say, me, for me. I'm a man of prayer and fasting. Leave that one for um, um, mental development. All those who want to become professors and lecturers. For me, this is a vineyard. And you are there and you find out that because your mindset is thinking wrong, regardless of your results. L listen, 
being around the truth and not engaging it can destroy you because it will bring about familiarity you are familiar with every man of god every program everything yet it will not bless you those that were close to jesus ran away they were not getting anything nicodemus came and met him once in the night and received something that changed his life mental development mental development upgrading your mind expanding your capacity to be relevant in today's world and grants you the opportunity to glorify christ how about people who do not understand authority this is the mystery they have not engaged and that's why the devil whips them left right and center left right and center they have no honor no regard for anybody on earth some of our parents are like that like that just say, hey, so so man has come to town which man so why are people going to go and see him what's the spell you see you see and and they start debating it and the person debating is poor and broke and sick and suffering he does not know that it is for this cause many are weak many are sick and many do sleep he sits down there and a miracle is close to him sometimes in his neighborhood and he hears reinhard bonke preaching and laughs he said ah is that the wise man you are talking about what is this one he says they said baba is about to pray for the city oh, no, no, mind those people and his kind of case is what is being called and they are being healed and reinhard bonke will go back and the proud man who does not understand authority sits down there look the way we have cheated ourselves because of ignorance of the systems of god cheap victories that have been complicated through ignorance look at students here you heard the testimony of one of our ladies last week no school fees no nothing and then result comes out and you are graduated <laughs> There are some of us where our lives are the way it is because there is no excellence to anything we do we are born again but everything is mediocre everything everything average mediocre local champions i'm a tailor like who well i'm, I'm here i'm patching here and there i lord i need increase and god says increase your capacity be excellent be excellent so that you can now start making clothes when you make a millionaire's clothes you get a millionaire's reward when you make clothes for somebody who gives you 500 today 200 tomorrow 800 today to pay 3000 and you are arguing as if arguing and arguing and fight and forgive the person but you still suffer you get tired and say lord i've started i've left this level i've challenged us was being excellent hallelujah excellent some of us relationships this is the mystery we are not engaging we know it but we are not engaging it hallelujah relationships honorable is here um I, I don't mean to embarrass him but this man of god that you see forget that he's a politician i told you politicians are my friends i'm intentionally friends with politicians because whoever controls power controls what happens I'm not one of these, these foolish people that throw away politicians away. They are my friends. They are my friends. They are my friends. Yes. They are my friends. Hallelujah. Jezebel wanted to destroy the people in the land of Elijah. The first thing she did was to marry the king. To make sure she was at the seat of governance. Then she now push Ahab, say, oh yeah, wait, I'm the one in charge. See that? A true apostolic grace must be able to minister the life and the power of God even at the level of governance. I went for Mubi Crusade. An honorable is here. Do you know, brothers and sisters, this man, as great as he is with his status, and all of this 
he came for the crusade with his wife stayed like two days together and returned back when i go to yola sometimes with his own car carries me in his own jeep and drives around praise the lord relationship if he calls me and says his wife is having a headache you call me There, there were calls but let me show you how i will respond relationship that's what brought Dorcas back to life when Dorcas died she was a woman who while well, she said i can't preach but i can sew madam you are cold let me make sweater for you when she died the widow said no way these wicked men they are all preachers but they don't take care of us you better raise this woman back to life for our sake hallelujah Tomorrow, if he becomes a governor, I'm still his friend. Is that true? Yes. Access. That's why when he comes like this, we honor him. What is all this? Everybody is equal before God. It is true based on your understanding. System that we do not know that destroys us and rubbishes our lives because we do not know are we together yes relationships i told you the easiest way to rise in life is relationship everything money can pay for relationships can pay for it if you use money to pay for everything in life you are not wise there are things relationships should pay for You can't pay for the house, but a relationship can give it to you. I, I spent time um, the week before last to talk extensively on relationships. I'm not going to go back, but please listen to that message. I can spend my time talking to you about relationship. That's what happened. John the Baptist had the privilege. His mother, listen, John the Baptist did not study what happened around his birth. When Mary received the prophecy of the angel she knew it was a strange thing she had to search for another woman who had a strange experience like her to be able to relate with her and she found out she had the gist of elizabeth and how john came and when they met their babies left when john was born he was older than jesus six months of course at the wilderness there when he met jesus for a while he was walking with jesus but offense came in because some of jesus's disciples left and became his disciple and he left and then he now went trying to look for relevance he went and started lambasting herod because he did not know the protocol of the palace he thought that the palace is the same thing as the wilderness the way you speak in the wilderness is not how you speak in the palace there are principles all preachers that rubbish themselves in high places and they call it speaking for christ there is the wisdom and intelligence when paul was in the jerusalem council with the sanhedrin he spoke as a pharisee he said look 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 look. i can speak as this and that but look now there are pharisees sadducees let me bring a point of divide i'm speaking based on my authority i'm a pharisee spoke about the resurrection and that place caught fire relationships many of our parents today know too many people to be looking for house at their age is that true they didn't raise anybody they didn't lift anybody all their friends are successful people they watch television and tell you this guy was my friend do you know that uh, general buhari was my classmate do you know this one was my classmate do you know that kofi Annan we drank tea together oh god why have you not been there? what has that relationship done for you this is why when we do things in church like turn to one another and give them a nice hug and you are frowning the this investment you are making now of rejecting people will be waiting for you in the future you will see the person you frowned at in power and glory and now you will not have the same access again it is cheaper now than later you've heard me say we will all be great but the greater part is that we will all know ourselves. That's the most important part. So that what I do not have a Jimmy can give me at a platter of gold. Hardship. Because there is no relationship. 
hardship because there's no relationship as a ministry by the grace of god god has helped us to enjoy certain privileges with people with institutions because of relationships what have you refused to engage that is punishing you and is destroying you what have you refused what do you know and have been wishing will work for you but you have not engaged it truly hallelujah it's one of the things i respect a lot about my dad my dad understands relationships in a strange way he knows almost anybody everywhere if he's a policeman he will scroll down there has to be one policeman he gave bag of rice some years before if it is prisons if it is customs if he's a carpenter even if he's a truck he does not have that stops he knows a mechanic somewhere he knows the one that fixes Peugeot he knows the ones that fixes these relationships now it's costly that's a very busy life but it's only busy until the day you need those people one call and they tell someone else yes sir but another you keep knocking forever and you say god help me god i helped you since you misuse the opportunity hallelujah praise the lord what have you been paying for that relationships would have paid if you engage them how long will you continue hating people and talking about them as though you are going to live in this world alone how long are you ready to continue holding grudges when will you forbear and excel there are ladies over my dead body my mother i will never talk to her but the blessing in your destiny is in the mouth of that woman justified she did something wrong but can you ignore everything so that you step into another dimension hallelujah I am passionate about engaging the word. I am passionate. I studied the life of Job because I want to be very prosperous. And I studied his life. I saw things that Job did. That if Job died poor, God would have been a wicked person. I found treasures. I said, ah, this is what Job did. Not the obvious things we see. There were things that Job did. What are you doing? Some of us, these are little children. They never look at you and smile. They look at you and they are afraid. You call them children. Remember, you are not going to die young. You have received the anointing for long life. The children you laugh at today, you are only 10 years older than them or 20 years or 30 years. They will soon grow and become adults too and occupy positions of influence. And you will see that a mistake you did 30 years ago will haunt you and your children and children's children. Is God giving us wisdom? These are, these are the systems that we, these are these are these are success systems. These are success systems. I'm I'm challenging us. This engaging part is what came in my spirit today to talk to us about. Engage the word. Engage the word. Engage the mysteries you know and stay there. Stay there till it produces. Don't engage once and complain. Do you know there was a time in my life I did everything but there was no result? Everything to be done, I cross-checked and it was correct. Once you have done everything, leave God's part to Him. So when people are complaining and say, Apostle, what am I missing? I say, you are not missing anything. Just stay there. Just like that? Yes, sir. Stay there. God is watching your growth. And he knows that if those blessings come, you don't have the spiritual capacity to take it yet. So he keeps you. And then overnight, you wake up and step into a dramatic dimension of the anointing. And they say, where did he come from? He's always been there waiting. I've been sowing seeds. Continue. Says not to be weary in well-doing. For we will reap in due season. There is a due season. If you fail not if you fail the due season will come and pass and you will not see anything i will never stop sowing seeds 
I will sow like a madman until the day the harvest comes. I will never stop engaging my passion for God. I will never stop building capacity. I will respect every man of God and every authority that is producing the results that I'm not producing. Never will I open my mouth to talk about somebody who is producing results that I'm not producing. It's pride of the highest order. No matter how simple and how cheap they sound, they are engaging something that is producing my results. I have a meeting next year and God has granted me the privilege and I'll have the privilege to be meeting with, I think maybe for the first time in my life, one of the billionaires in the world, a Nigerian. I look forward to that meeting. I'm preparing for it like I'm writing jam. He said, ah, ah, Apostle, for what? This dishonor we carry is why we never rise. If I sit down with a billionaire and he talks to me for five minutes, I will go down my knees and say, thank you, sir. Because it will change my ignorant mind for God's sake and deliver me from the things that have pegged me and my lineage at certain levels. I look forward to that meeting. I've been praying and fasting about it. I say, Lord, this meeting cannot be once. We have to be friends. We have to be what? Yes. Because a friend sticks close to, than a brother. This brother, sister, thing, friends. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know we think it doesn't matter what I just said. Look at our lives. Look at our families. Have you not seen the rules we have broken for ages? God is faithful. Our lack of understanding his system is what is punishing us. Apostle, why are you teaching all this? So you can serve God. Let my people release them from this pain so that they will go and serve me. I want, they are, for as long as they are working in the farms, for as long as they are suffering in Egypt, they can't serve me. Say, let my people go so that they will do what? It is my desire to see some of our brothers a few years from now. That when others get up in the morning and are running helter skelter, you are there with your family. You made a way. That's the worship song playing. When our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over, you made a way. And visitors come to your house discussing survival and you are discussing kingdom we have allocated 10 million to this ministry there is a mission agency we heard that these people are passionate about souls and they say are you a pastor he said no i'm just a brother in church i have been trained that my entire life is about the kingdom he say are you 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 better stand up and make ends meet a luther continue i say no not in this house we have demarcated this house through understanding exempted forever from certain things Someone comes to your house and say, what's that noise I'm hearing? Say, we have a vigil today. Say, ah, which prophet is coming? Say, no. Priesthood. Our house. We have vigils. Say, are you not aware that uh, you have to rush? Say, no, 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 no. God is faithful. God is faithful. And you are praying. And they say, what are you praying for? Souls. Say, ah, what about, uh, what about ends to meet? Say, ah, God, God, as we settled that long ago. This is, in this house, it is kingdom. Do you think this is possible, what I'm saying? Yes, you better believe it. Otherwise, you will be another angry person. This is what I want my life to be all about. Let no one deceive you that your whole life should be spent looking for money. Then serving God small on the way. It's a cost. Did you hear what I said? It's a cost. You can live a happy life where you sit down and teach your children by yourself because you have time. Junior, come. Daddy is about to teach you how to tithe. Have your envelope. Have your own. You put your own one million dollars. The young boy put his own hundred dollars there. He's learning how to tithe. Daddy, what do we do with this? Son, this is called the law of open heaven. Say after me. And he murmurs whatever he says, but he's learning. 
by the time that child is 10 he's a millionaire by himself without your influence and one day he says daddy i was sleeping and i had a voice and the lord told me to donate half of my wealth to a mission agency he says son do it fast because his father has understanding do it fast daddy i thought i was going to become a doctor but i had a voice in the night saying i'll be a great man of god don't worry you are covered not this morning ceremony says, so you are going to the vineyard now who is the sponsor no, that's, that's the mindset they carry about preachers. The moment you say you are preaching, people just look at you and they, they have a valedictory service for you into a life of pain. No, sir. Hallelujah. One day you get up and carry your family. Where are you going to? We are going for a Hillsong conference in Australia. You mean it? Yes. Yes, sir. We are going there and we are sitting down. He said, you mean this is how your whole life? He said, this is how it is, so." I don't know about you i so thank god i'm a man because you can design the life the way ladies don't feel bad just just pray that's that's it i will never spend my life bowing to the statue of nebuchadnezzar no sir no sir hmm. how can i call on your name and end up in shame no way no way how can i bow down before you and then bow down before a man no way because you are my god Men may not believe it, they think we are jokers. But you are my God. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are my God. Romans chapter 8 and verse 18, let me round up. It says, For I record. That the sufferings of this present time brothers and sisters i am not unaware of the pain you are going through i'm not a fool i know that there are constraints there are pains that you're going through but my bible greater than any constitution of any republic the bible says for i know i reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory doxa that shall be revealed the weightiness of God in us in us the Bible says for the earnest expectation of your family of your lineage not just of creation listen some of you are listening to me and the devil is telling you don't mind that man it has never been done in your lineage go and study it and God says you are the one I'm raising on I'm raising you to make a spectacle to principalities and powers that causes can be subdued that yokes can be broken listen God is looking for men that he's looking for a generation he said this is the generation that seeks thee let me tell you there is a generation that will seek God as a vocation not now there are individuals there are churches but there will come a generation an age range where what they do is to seek god church services every day every day not just on sunday as one convention is finishing another one is starting and you can attend it because you have conquered the forces that keep men busy bowing down to the status of nebuchadnezzar what to eat what to wear that's what drives people to walk in the morning you are supposed to walk but the purpose is not just make your ends meet it's a revelation of the glory of the father disabuse your thinking from this servitude mentality god wants to raise us but it will happen by engaging his systems lift your voice and begin to pray lord i exempt myself i exempt myself shaka taka taka ta I exempt myself. I exempt myself. I exempt myself.
through knowledge shall the just be delivered there is a generation that will serve God there is a generation that will seek the God of Jacob not seeking money not seeking power we will conquer wealth we will conquer all the things that distract men so that the only time that will be left is in advancing the course of the kingdom and improving the living of men pray listen I look forward to times where our doctors will set up hospitals that are ten times the size of Shika and everybody who comes half the price was already covered by a kingdom financier yes sir for a hospital not a church not a church you meet someone and there is a surgery happening that person is about dying because they don't have money here comes a kingdom financier what did you say is happening i love god and i love his creation too much please treat the person listen let me tell you this please don't ever think i'm just making noise this is prophecy it will happen you 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 may throw yourself out but it will happen hallelujah a time in the history of the church where there are men who walk to reveal the glory of god they are so blessed they don't discuss money again hallelujah i heard about the net worth of one very funny person like that and the thing pained me because i read an article about a church that was building their cathedral and the amount was so meager they borrowed loan from a bank and the bank was harassing them harassing the pastor they wrote all kinds of things and insulted the man and they said the man plunged into depression and died i think it was last week or week before last when i had that thing it pained me i said in the vision god showed this guy death was not part of it all it was something that killed this man yet there is someone answering the kingdom of darkness and has more than hundred times what that church is praying for please don't tell me that is the will of God get up in the morning you are doing this job today you are doing this one tomorrow God calls you say sorry God I have to pay my child school fees no sir some of our parents may not have gotten it right we don't have to mock them but you have to stand and say lord for the sake of my children i will pay this price lift your voice and pray lord i pay the price if my father if my mother knew better they would do better but now that i know this oh god i will pay the price i will pay the price lift your voice i will pay the price no joking with my life i will pay the price i will pay the price Lift your voice and pray. Engaging the systems of the kingdom. Not only believing them. Not only having access to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to lift your voice and cry. That the spirit of disobedience. The spirit of spiritual laziness. That does not allow you engage the word. You just keep wishing. No, no, sir. No, ma. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, the grace to put the word to work. Lord, I confess I've not been a faithful title. Pray. I, I stop playing games with my destiny tonight. Lord, I confess my prayer life has gone down. My word life has gone down. Lord, I confess I'm not serious with my destiny. As a gentleman, God has called me into ministry but i'm not giving it the attention it requires they're admiring people fighting people gossiping and trying to make a name for myself i settle down with destiny 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 Hallelujah.
listen let me give you a little assignment when you go back home tonight i want you to write specific goals things you are doing this issue of doing everything mm -mm. i'm on a mission to rising financially i'm on a mission to knowing god i'm on a mission to accessing the healing anointing don't just study randomly and move. no right things the lord is calling me into ministry and he told me the ministry is starting february next year but from now till february i am engaging this i need to know the mystery behind speed i need to know what keeps members you write it and sit down I've, I've not been faithful in tithing. That means I've not had a revelation about it. The issue is not just to carry money and start running. The issue is to sit down and say, this month, I'm going to take a course. I'm going to take a study on it. Who has written books in this area? And you sit down. Who has done a very comprehensive, balanced, not hungry, manipulative teaching on it? And you study. That's how you grow. You carry your issue of concern, put it before you. Close your eyes to every other thing until that mountain crumbles. Don't leave it. That's how winners work. But all this one of try today, if it's too hard, you turn this direction, you will still meet it there. Stay there and win. Did you hear what I said? Stay there and win. Let me tell you in my little life, I can tell you there is no mountain that is not surmountable. It's a lie. Don't listen to anybody that talks to you like that is not your friend. Don't go near them again. I want you to write a list of the mountains before you. Pray, dance, but sit down. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Shakato, katakata. You read a book. You check something. There's got to be a way. Then you enjoy the beauty of triumph. Brothers and sisters, triumph is sweet when you conquer your challenges. You live as if Satan does not exist. There is such a realm. It is my desire with all my heart, among other things that God will bring, not just this ministry. He has helped in a measure, not just me, but every one of us. Not just to a level of spiritual awakening. I, I'm trusting God for an avalanche of, do you know how you conquer poverty? Like, you put it under your feet. This is what God would do in this ministry and with people and you watch people serve God all this obsession for money that runs people to hell ladies marrying for money brothers doing this people leaving God for money all kinds of nonsense and we can focus on God then there will be prayer altars afresh that seek God for him not for what he can bring there will be men and women who can study. There are some of you, there are books locked up in your spirit for nations. But suffering will not let those books come out. Because all you are thinking now is, oh God, let me just look for something to eat. We depress ourselves and have high blood pressure to death. Whereas there is a way, a noble way where you spend your life at the end of your life like david you say like like um paul you say i have fought the fight good fight i have finished my course you have poured yourself like a drink offering nothing left again are we together the last prayer point and we're done for this night i like you to cry and say god hold my hands and insist that I don't stop until I get to the, des the place of destiny. Hold my hands. I ask you to. He held the hands of Peter. Some of you in your, in your, in your, in your quest to obey God. You have seen things most dive in your life. Cry and say, Lord, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Hold my hands, oh God. Stop me from sinking and lift me up. Use my life as a spectacle to show what you can do with the anointing. To show what you can do with influence. To show what you can do with men and women who are passionate about agenda. I will search for you and I will find you. I will find you with all my heart. I will lift my hands to you in worship And I will worship With all my 
I'm leading a generation to seek him. Lord, we will search for you and we will find you. We will find you with all our hearts. We will lift our hands to you in worship. And we will worship. Listen. Rounding up, before I make the altar call, listen to me. I want to encourage, hold on guys. I want to encourage every brother here. You are a brother. When you go back home this night, please, please do this. Go and get a notebook. Sit down. Use this weekend. Please. Thank God there, there's, there's holiday. Today, tomorrow, Sunday. Even if it's one hour. Please, just do what I'm asking you to do. Find somewhere alone. Everybody say alone not with your neighbor not group find somewhere alone whether it's one forest somewhere or outside near one tree one dam somewhere and just sit down with a notebook and a paper don't carry any book just go and stay there and say holy spirit i'm rededicating my destiny not my life to you you are the only one who can help me this ministry you are giving me this business this life this family is too much for me i am ready to receive your wisdom and you it will shock you what god will do for you in that retreat don't do it sitting in your room or your parlor no 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 find a place go somewhere if you see someone there find another corner somewhere one grass somewhere one uncompleted building of a school somewhere just hang around somewhere even if it's for one hour take a time of inventory the way i'm living my life Am I going to make it? Are we together? This is called self-supervision. Sit down. The way I'm running my family, are we going to rise this way? The way I'm living my life, am I going to be great this way? The, the time I am giving God, will this time really birth his glory in me? And then come up by the spirit with resolutions. The Lord will show you areas. The Lord will show you things. Ladies, you can do it too. I'm not saying it's, it's just for guys and then ladies lazy around. This is everybody's destiny. Carry a notebook. Flog it out somewhere. Let me tell you the second thing I want you to do. Please hear me and don't be offended with what I'm telling you. You have to search for the names and numbers of certain people and delete them out of your phone. I repeat you have to search for the names comma and the numbers of certain people and do what delete them out of your phone i promise you being a friend of everybody will not give you your destiny are we together there are people who are not bad they are not demonic but they are too distracting to accommodate them they are they are their distraction to your destiny is not worth it let them be the day you rise, you can always recall them but for now you are on a project some of you may need to trust god to get a place whether off you or get a small room with somebody you, you just need pay whatever price it will take to allow you build this great destiny are we together yes some of you may need to minimize certain useless visitations. Visitations that don't make sense. From pillar to post, flying around. No. Some of you may need to minimize movies. I'm not saying movies are wrong. Don't, don't misunderstand me. But let me tell you, you are not going to spend your whole life watching movies and you'll make it in life. No, sir. Is that true? Some of us may need to minimize sleep. 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 Snore your way time is going. But this the Bible says a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the and poverty comes upon you like an unbanded. Some of us may need to minimize food. Please, I'm not saying starve yourself, don't get me wrong. But I'm telling you, gluttony is killing some of us. Killing some of us. Some of us need to reduce your three phones to one. The two are not doing anything, they are distracting you. 
distracting you some of you need to reduce the number of social media platforms except you are there maybe on business or something you are on every social media platform your phone is beeping per second per second some of us may need to off our phones that's what you need for that one two hours off it there is nothing that is too urgent off it and spend time with god these are the things that distract people who have potentials of greatness the holy spirit wants to make greatness out of people but we keep getting distracted if you can pay this price i press you you may not like me now for what i'm telling you but tomorrow you will see me and say thank you sir the person who loves you is the person who tells you the truth no matter how uncomfortable i love you too much to leave you the way you are there is a level of anointing you must enter there is a level of influence you must enter i want god to do business with you that he you will rise to become a voice for his majesty this is what he's looking for father we give you the glory tonight you have challenged us tonight this is more than a sermon this is the heart of god pounding on your destiny the lord is challenging us very truthfully and seriously tonight there are ladies and gentlemen men and women standing here whilst you heard me teach the holy ghost began to speak to you that you need to correct your life and run to jesus now please everyone keep standing no movement there are people in this place tonight that are saying lord i need to run to you perhaps you're coming here for the first time and you have always laughed at men of god every time they made altar calls the lord is speaking to you that tonight is your own turn or at one point you have given your heart to the lord but things just went haywire your life scattered and you joined it and just you know destroyed the path of glory that you were following followed friends followed every kind of thing made a mess of your life and you're saying man of god can he receive me back absolutely and tonight wherever you are our time is gone i want you to take a bold and a serious step a bold and it must be serious you must come here meaning it from your heart wherever you are inside outside please i'd like you to make that bold step right now and come up even as we appreciate them quickly quickly lord i'm tired of playing games with my life you're welcome quickly let's clear the way for them as they are coming please encourage them encourage them apostle i've always been a nice guy it's just that i can't remember making this altar call join them join them i'm not sure my father is a pastor i've grown in a pastor's house join them join them please join them whether I overflow one two three wherever you are join them god bless you apostle i don't want people to see me forget about that please join them and come join them quickly keep coming above him there's no other jesus is way jesus is the answer for the world today please allow them come if they are coming keep coming above him there's no other if you are still joining them please rush and come those of you who are here i truly congratulate you with all my heart i know that you are standing here some of you are handing your life over to jesus for the first time some of you are rededicating your life it doesn't matter let me tell you jesus is not a religion jesus is not an opinion he is life he will truly give you a new beginning hallelujah now lift your right hand and say after me very clearly say lord jesus say it again lord jesus i love you with all my heart i come before you tonight just as i am i ask you to forgive me to cleanse me to give me a new beginning i declare that you are lord of my life you are my savior you are my king 
I receive eternal life tonight into my spirit and I declare that from tonight I'm a child of God I am saved I'm delivered in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted Lord Jesus who but you is able to save men who but you is able to show mercy and grace Lord, I decree and declare that these ones who have come unashamedly standing before you and standing before your people, let this be a new beginning for them. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the power of Satan, sin, hell, the grave is broken over your life. I decree and declare that the grace to live a victorious life, the hunger for God and for the things of God is planted in your heart tonight. From today, you will go higher and higher and higher in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I declare that the Lord himself will bless and honor and lift you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, um, please, all of you, I want you to follow. There is a gentleman that will be waving his hands. Um, this lady, my dear, look at me, you. I want you to meet Pastor Alpha. Hmm? This girl, while they are going, meet Pastor Alpha. Please, I want you to personally counsel this lady. Hmm? I saw something that, please, you counsel her and God will help you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, please, all of you. God bless you. God bless you. Let's appreciate them very quickly. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.